lust for eternal affairs seem to raise our spirits in great despair. Through the ashes of oblivion, quick and unseen like the dragon's offspring, for we owe no debts and bow to no king. Every war has its cost and we've paid, won by the bond of the body we made. Now as the demons listen, we strike them down Fighting back the rifts of blood Sent from the sky lies an angel in me Give them news to strengthen and words to heed Heaven's hells are set alight We're knocking on the gates of hell tonight Swords and dragons' bones scattered on the way back home, beating to the scent of flashing steel. When the road I hear them, shut the tales and legends told, strengthened by the hymns of old, withered as this frantic from his throne. So we sing a charmless song. Out a spell in your sequence of chords To inspire and sharpen our rusted swords Echoing the whisper of the trees Creep on the path where a thousand bots fail From the dark west and jungle trails Come from afar to set prisoners free To dot tangled deaths from the open sea Swords and dragons' bones scattered on the way back home, beating to the scent of flashing steel. When the road I hear sound, check the tales and legends told, strengthened by the hymns of old, withered as this frantic bomb is thrown. So we sing a tremendous song. Chances don't come cheap So keep a load and on your feet An ancient spirit's song will heal our wounds On a bench by our defeat Spot the bloodstains on these cabal streets A message to the gods to see us through Everybody, you were all unmuted. 
we were we were discussing very important topics before a stream. Uh, I hate it here. Fun, I hate fun it. fact: Echidnas have four penises. That's the biggest. Oh thing my god. Um, <laughs> So, hello everyone, my name is Obsidia, everybody's favorite Death Knight and the wonderful DM of this campaign. I am so happy to have you all here tonight. And uh, before we do a round of introductions, followed by the uh, previously on, I would like to say in Boob Cydia update, uh, three weeks in and my boobs do not hurt. This is a glorious achievement as, as I have been suffering with, with boob pain for several weeks now, so... We're we're moving on up. <laughs> it's all it's all boob uh, goodness from here on. It's out. all titty from here, champ. I'm not good with pants grab chat chat. I mean, I'm not good <laughs> with words like. I mean, I'm I'm really get me out of this one. Okay, I dug a um, hole. I'll I'll, I'll take this away from you, Seth. So you. as we we try to take this away from Seth, we're gonna pass on over to our resident fastest enthusiast and favorite kitty knight here <laughs> we got <laughs> the page slash yulia don't talk to me uh, <laughs> hi everyone uh, my name is yulia um i don't like sonic <laughs> uh, but i normally go by royal knight vt on both twitch and twitter uh yeah i do i am so brain dead right <laughs> you bring up I sonic and use just one mind break tag after another with yulia i hate it <laughs> <laughs> Please on, spare me. Uh, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, Yulia. Next up is our, our other Kitty Knight enthusiast and uh, multi-purpose cat girl. It, don't let him tell you otherwise. He is a cat girl in many formats. We've got Sess slash Sif. I just wanted to add, you said Yulia was the favorite cat knight, and I kind of we all kind of knew it, but uh, putting it out there kind of hurt. <laughs> taking this L to the to the thing. Hi, I'm Sif. I'm like not as cool as Yulia, I guess, but uh, I do art. I play games. Come on down. I, you're all my favorite cat knights. <laughs> Thank you, I, I love all my kittens equally. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a sad kitty image like like you're holding up like a cat in your arms and it's yulia and then there's a sad cat at the bottom of the <laughs> i know that i know that meme i now need to make this meme Mario. hey i'm sif i do art i play games i uh, I, I do cosplay i'm gonna be uploading updates on that soon hi uh, uh i love you guys whether i'm a small cat knight or a loved cat i don't know or a new you. york cat i'm a new york over here um he said new york <laughs> thank you sif and next up we have our beloved paint slash litro everybody's favorite emotionally traumatized changeling hi i'm litro the bronze i'm playing paint tonight um you can catch me over on my channel if you like uh, rpgs and other DD stories where all these people usually play uh and uh yeah do that but first subscribe to Obsidia. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And thank you, Litro, for being amazing. You should definitely go check him out. He is DM of several other campaigns on Fridays and Sundays, uh, including, I think you guys are doing it this week, right? Um, so definitely go check it out. Uh, he is an amazing DM. His players include basically everybody here in one shape or another. So definitely go check that out and support him. Next up, last but never least, the horniest member of the party, Jubilee slash Mari. Thank you, as always, for your delightfully uh, uh, pointed introductions, Obs. <laughs> so, um, hi, everyone. I am Mary, uh, currently a Hobbit VTuber, although I'm a, on a bit of a streaming hiatus while I do some rebranding to uh, be a lovely, gender-ambiguous new form and uh but yeah whenever i do stream i like to do comfy cozy stuff we like to read books we write we craft uh we play games from time to time and it's just all about those cozy vibes uh but in the meantime you can uh find me over on you know here uh for DD as well as on litro's channel twice a week for uh miss walkers and comet tales definitely check it out because litro's great so yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you mari we are we are all very excited for redefining gender with just the sexiest dragon <laughs> <Yee -hee. laughs> um 
But yes, we are very much looking forward to that. And you should definitely go check them out in all of the other uh, games they play in. They are amazing in all of them and uh, a gremlin in most of them. So <laughs> be sure to go send lots of love and support down Mari's way. All right, everybody. Thank you all for your introductions. Now we have ourselves the previously on. Previously on, shit got real. Specifically, their, uh, their lovely changeling, currently known as Paint, was experiencing a bit of a, uh, a body crisis as their undead patron ghost boy, whose personality, I mean, whose uh, identity they were uh, assuming for the last 20 years, decided to get a little too territorial and started uh, taking over uh, Paint's body. The party rushed them over to the Temple of the Silver Flame, where everybody's favorite crankiest hobgoblin priestess, Rei Nin Yen, uh, tried to commune with the Silver Flame, which led to a battle inside of uh, Paint's mindscape against an, an ungodly abomination format of their patron who was trying to take permanent control of their body. Uh, they had Ray by their side. While that was going on, the patron was also taking control of their physical form and turning into an ungodly abomination in the middle of the church that the rest of the party had to combat with at the same time. Eventually, after a long and grueling battle and uh, pa Paige getting very thoroughly nommed on <laughs> by, by, uh, by Cliff, <laughs> um, Paint was able to finally triumph against their patron and rather than casting them away in absolute hatred, they embraced them and gave them the love and forgiveness that the, the spirit truly needed in the end. As they began to transition from that point, uh, they were, f uh, sorry, Paint found themselves embraced by a angelic being of silver and fire, possibly an, uh, an angel of the silver flame. Who called herself the Hearth Mother, and she helped uh, Cliff's spirit transition to the next life as he did one last tearful goodbye to Paint and asked for forgiveness for all that he had done, and that he hoped that Paint found some happiness in this life, and that Paint wouldn't um, wouldn't stop loving uh, Cliff's family, even though no uh, Cliff would no longer be there. And with that, Paint then found solace in the angel's arms and eventually struck a new bargain to help spread hope and guide the lost and the weary back home once again and now has a new angelic patron in the form of what Rain and Yen referred to as Hestelia, the hearth mother. And with that, Paint popped back into reality party caught back up. They were then forced to clean up the mess that had occurred inside of the temple from the absolute destructive battle inside of it. Finally, after hours of toil they and more than a bit of shipping, uh, the party made it back to the house and went to bed for a very well-deserved rest. Uh, while asleep, Paint got the first good night's sleep in 20 years, which was good for them because the rest of the party was woken up in a dreamscape as a strange being calling herself the daughter offered them a job opportunity in Sharn, the city of towers in Brayland, where our two kitties are actually from. Specifically, she gave them an offer for 1,000 gold each if they help her child, uh, a, a man known as LD, who Sess identified as a crime lord in Sharn, with a task of utmost importance to him. The party eventually reluctantly accepted, and also accepted some of the most delicious cookies that have ever existed in the history of cookies before waking up the next morning with those cookies manifesting next to them for further munching purposes, proceeded to talk to the rest of the party about this uh, spontaneous job offer that occurred while they were sleeping and the fact that Cess was a bit of a criminal enforcer before she joined the party. Uh, and they were told that they have a series of train tickets to Sharn that are set to depart uh, later that evening. And so the party is now, you know, getting ready for their last few slash eight hours inside of Greywall before they head out on their next big adventure.
And so with that, I think we are about ready to start. I have one last announcement, and that is this Saturday is my birthday. Yay. That's it. <laughs> Yay. Your Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Your girl birthday. is becoming milfier by the day, turning 34. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. She's reaching critical mass. Someone stop her. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going Happy into early birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to turn into Super Saiyan Milf. <laughs> Super Saiyan Milf. <laughs> Instead of like getting like bigger and stronger, my boobs just get more opi. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> Embrace oh. it. Embrace it. Yep. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Um... I don't I, think we get an option on whether or not we embrace it in January. Yes, I will. I will swaddle all of you. <laughs> hey, yo. And with that, we begin our session, truly. Specifically, we're going to start off with each of them has a couple of tasks they want to knock out in Greywell before they depart. And so first off, Sess, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to go quickly realizing that, wait a minute. I thought I had a few weeks to get these done. I got a couple hours. I'm going to run over to Oathgold okay. to uh, finish my uh, list of things I want to have for everybody. Okay. Oathgold is busy uh, inscribing into some uh, like golden chalices and stuff, uh, some dwarven runes, and he takes off a set of like zoomy spectacles. Like It's like got multiple spectacles lined up next to each other. Um, mm -hmm. to, to zoom in, and he lifts them up, look at you, and says in Dwarvish, you know, oh, welcome back. Yeah, it's, um, listen, I gotta head to, um, turns out me and my gang are heading back to Sean faster than expected, so, uh, I need to finish a few crafts faster than I thought. Uh, sorry to, you know, rush and craft, but, um, oh, uh, since I'm going back to Sean, is there anything you want me to tell my coach? Anything <laughs> you want me to pass along? Oh, I, I, I don't know your coach. I just know of him and the, the legends around him. But, um, you know, I, I think I think just telling him that you were using my my smithy, I think will be enough. It's, it's enough of an honor in its own right. Honor? All right, whatever. I'll tell him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 hurry, I'll hurry up and get out of your hair here. And she says immediately, just gets to work like you just to hear like the fucking NG from TF2 wrench whacking <laughs> noise on a repeat. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And so you start crafting away as the bar goes across the screen, filling up. And while that's happening, we'll pass it over to Paint. Paint, what would you like to do? Well, before we left, I spent the morning going ahead and uh, writing a letter. And then before the train would actually. Uh, go and set off earlier this evening i decided to go to the uh, market in town today and look around and look for any toys okay um yep you can send the letter um to the house to civis um messaging station when you guys go to the international area for your train ride but while you're in the market you do see that uh there are several toys um they're small like wooden figures of various animals and like uh creatures about there's also some little dollies uh being from the city of passage and basically the industrialized world as a whole uh, all of these toys seem very handmade and rudimentary by comparison to some of the things that like house decaneth can, can can be able to create uh through their artifice and their various licensed mage rights, but they are, you know, they're cute in their own various uh, artisanal ways. And you find some dolls of, you find a, like a surprising amount of dolls of three people that you actually know uh, fairly intimately at this point, which is the um, the three champions of Greywall is what they're called, uh, Lady Cryotrixia, your your favorite Lamia snake mommy. Secondly. Captain Lilith Venom Spite, everybody's favorite tiefling captain of the guards. And the final one is High Priestess Hecate of the uh, Dark Six, the Medusa herself. And so there's lots of very cute uh, kinds of artisanal dolls of them uh, all about the place. And you, you see, you know, kids running around with them and stuff like that. I will get those three dolls. Uh, four alternate outfits for all of them. Um, 
a few wooden animals. Uh, and I uh, will ask for all of them to be gift wrapped into one single package. Uh, of, of, of course, of course, of course. It'll be, it'll be our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Okay. We'll wrap them up in um, some little, like, basically uh, dyed cloth because they don't really use wrapping paper in this part of the world. <laughs> um, but it is some very colorful cloth that they, they will wrap everything up individually and then all together. Thank you. Uh, and as I take that package, I also take the letter and I take it to um, the nearest house of passage i think is the the people that uh do mail it's uh it's house uh house civis they're the messaging house, house. they're right next to the train station okay when time comes i'll go ahead and see about delivering that letter along with the package okay sounds good um all right so that's paint jubilee <laughs> um jubilee as Olay. as you are uh getting you know getting your things packed and stuff um you'll you know be moving about the house at one point and you see sitting on the the back uh back porch you see a little a little chubby kitty s staring at you from from your door <laughs> uh, hello, hello and she's just going to open up the back door and kind of look around left right any sign of a owner a person that cat belongs to uh the cat is a black cat and as it and with a white patch on its chest and as it looks up at you you see it has these brilliant violet eyes and as it starts cat sauntering forward you see its uh shoulders twitch a little bit and you see that there's a it has a pair of wings <laughs> that are like stretching a little bit as it's walking towards you and it just goes meow 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 oh hello and i'll sort of reach down and try to give it little head scritches it uh it purrs enthusiastically um, to your scritches and kind of wraps itself around one of your legs. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, you're awfully, awfully friendly. Um, are you, are you lost? And by the, have I ever seen anything yes. like this uh, little Yeah, before? now that you've, now you got a closer look on how it moves and everything, uh, this is most likely a tresium, which is, they're kind of rare in, in Eberron, but like really generally like high-end rich people will have them as pets um, as well as some wizards and spellcasters take them as familiars. They're basically semi-intelligent flying cats. <laughs> um, oh. They're smarter than your average cat. Uh, and it, uh, it looks up to you and just kind of nuzzles its head against your, your leg. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh... I'm just going to quick pick it up awkwardly because I've never had a pet before. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, and just, again, poke my head out, looking around, see if there's anyone actively looking distressed because they've lost their rare pet. <laughs> nope. The cat looks very chill uh, as you hold it up. <laughs> I imagine, like, you know, holding it where it's, like, right below its its arms in full, yeah, yeah. In, in full <laughs> long boy. Uh, and it just kind of gives you just a content kitty face, and then it'll move one of its paws and uh, gently boop you on the nose. Oh, oh my goodness! You're so cute, and you're so fluffy. I, oh gosh, I, I mm, you're you're very cute, but I'm sure your owner misses you. You should probably run along now, and she's gonna put it down and kind of gently shoo it away. <laughs> it's it'll uh shake its head at you and it'll start flapping its wings and it's going to land on your shoulder <laughs> oh okay oh oh dear all right um 
Well, I guess we'll sort, I don't really have time to help you find your owner. I guess we'll sort this out later. Um, okay. <laughs> she'll, she'll just walk back in and just with this cat perched on her shoulder and... Is anyone else in the house right now? Uh, here? Yeah, uh, while you're in the house, presumably um, Paige and Silvana and like Lily and your servants and stuff will be about just doing various activities, getting their own stuff packed and uh, cleaning up lunch and everything. Um, she'd probably go seek out either uh, Paige or Silvana okay. to uh, inquire as to what to do about this. All right, Paige. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah, she's probably just about finished uh, helping put away the, the dishes uh, when she notices Jubilee walk in and kind of tilt her head a little when she sees what you have. Like, um, a, a new friend? I, I guess so. He was on the back porch um, and kind of just... It just kind of perched himself here and took a took a shine to me. I guess I didn't see any owner, or I don't see like a like a collar or or anything. I don't. Have you ever seen one of these before? Do you know how to take care of them or what to do? I just I'm I'm a a, a, a little frazzled by this. Uh, mm, no. Well, well, I'm not I'm not particularly a, a pet person. She says as her ears kind of wiggle a little. <laughs> Uh, you also know what a tresium is. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I am I am aware of what they are, um, but it certainly seems to have taken a liking to you. And normally they're they're actually pretty hard to to get so personable with. So I, I'm surprised it attached to you so quickly. Are you sure you've never met one before? N no, I I'm sort of similar. We never had uh, pets before. We never had a had to take care of one so i'm not quite sure why this one seems to like me so much it just kind of showed up oh um well maybe maybe it's hungry it usually if it's if it's calling for someone it's um I, i'm sure we have some leftovers if you want to see if we can yeah feed. we could yeah let's see if let's see if he's hungry i say he i don't know if it's a he i shouldn't assume uh if you if you uh, check is in fact Mail. <laughs> oh, uh, check. Uh, Paige will come over. I, I can, I can check for you if you, if you like. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll go get it something to eat. Okay. Um, is it alright if she holds? <laughs> the cat, yeah. The cat will kind of look at you very levelly <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you, as you check it. <laughs> like, and you see it, you you would swear, swear, if it was possible for a cat to do, this cat fucking raised an eyebrow at you as you were looking at its genitals. <laughs> like, like, it puts it kind of at arm's length, like, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, it was not anything personal, I swear. <laughs> Meow. Um, and I guess I'll just uh, rummage the kitchen, find it, like, a little... I don't know. I don't know what all we have in our kitchen, but I'm looking for like little like slices of meat or something to to feed it. <laughs> uh, after after being held and examined by Paige in vivid detail, uh, <laughs> the cat will uh, as you come bringing over like a plate of meat, the cat will kind of jostle its way out of Paige's hands and flutter uh, across the room to land near the meats. And start nomming. You know how fucking loud cats eat. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, with their well, mouth wide open. <laughs> I, I guess. I guess he was hungry. Um. Do you, mm, do you intend to keep keep them? Oh God, I don't. I don't know. Um, we don't really have the time or, or, or really the space for for an animal i mean we're about to leave it feels oh. wrong to sort of just keep it here cooped up after we just let it in um 
Yes, I would hate for Lily to have more responsibilities. Oh, um, God, I know. She already does so much around the house. Well, we can certainly try to take it with us and on the way uh, to the train, we can check and see if maybe there's someone that's missing or maybe there's a... I don't suppose there's in places where they keep strays at. I don't know. It's just... This is a pretty uncommon pet. You'd think someone would be looking for it. They are very rare. I... I'd almost be a little concerned just to, because someone might just say it's theirs and not actually be. That's true. Um, I didn't really look before. Yeah. I, I said in character there's yeah. no collar, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. Um, can I just like sort of take a, a, a brief glance over the cat, see if there are any identification markings on it? There is not. Uh, there, okay. There is no identification markings. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Paige will know that it is odd for Tressium to have purple eyes. That's not normally a color cat eyes come in for these things. It is very unique. Um, well... Could I, I, I could I uh, I don't know if this will help any, but could I do detect magic on it? Uh, sure. You can spend a couple minutes doing your detect magic process. Yeah, just to see if anything pops, or maybe maybe there's like a like a a magical chip or something. <laughs> that would be a very aberrant thing to have for pets. Is like a magical fucking tracking device. Yeah. So. Um, well, the creature is definitely very magical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, as you look at it, it is incredibly magical. But, uh, that, that, there doesn't appear to be any tracking devices on it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly sure. No indicators or anything like that. Like I said, it might, it might not hurt to bring it along just a little bit and maybe someone will come looking. Yeah, I guess we could hang on to it for now. I'd rather know it's taken care of till we figure out where he belongs. And, I mean, it's certainly taken a liking to you, so... I, I guess I guess he has, yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, uh, yeah. You, yeah. You look no. over and it has eaten a hole in the pile of meats and is looking at you like, why did you, why did you, my, my food is empty. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, I think his food is done. He, he left an awful lot on the, on the plate. Are you sure? Hmm. I don't, I don't see too much. <laughs> Jubilee is going to take some of the meat and like <laughs> rip it up into smaller pieces and then put it back in the bowl. <laughs> the cat begins eating loudly again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that you brought it back so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, I just, I don't know. Maybe the pieces are too big or something. He was having trouble eating them. I don't know. Um... <laughs> That could be but, the case, yes. <laughs> well, I guess I guess we have another cat to the group. <laughs> the cat looks up with a with a big kitty smile. Oh, he is very cute though. Give him little head scratches again. Pages <laughs> <laughs> ears go back. <laughs> This is a highly personal activity amongst cat shifters. <laughs> so scandalous. <laughs> but he, oh, is that, he purrs is not enthusiastically. The, is that <laughs> not the right thing to do? I don't know how. I don't know how to take oh. care of a cat. Oh no, no, no! It's okay. I, you, I mean, it's just a. You know, pe not everyone just goes around scratching. You know, other. <laughs> other cats uh oh um is that a bit too forward 
no, I mean, if you're into that, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, um, <laughs> I have to go tie my shoes over there. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your help, Paige. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> This page scampers away. Um, I, go, I go back to a- amend my uh, my actions instead of like scratching the top of his head. I just awkwardly pat pat the top of his head. It looks at you kind of confused, and then starts headbutting you, and <laughs> it will then flap back onto your shoulder and just kind of curl up around your uh, around your head. Like behind oh. your behind it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> is there anything else you want to do, Jubilee? This cat is now um, just kind of hanging out on your shoulders until, yeah, until you do you know, <laughs> Uh yeah, Jubilee had just one little thing that she wanted to do. Um and she also uh wanted to compose a letter. Okay. Um but sort of uh with it at a, at a place where she could have privacy from housemates, mm-hmm. so uh, she's probably going to venture out uh, briefly probably to the cafe that she and Paige okay. went to, uh, sit down, have a cup of coffee, and write her letter real quick before going. Okay, yeah, the cat will just chill out next to you <laughs> as you as you scribble down your thoughts. And at one point, it will. Take its paw and put it in the ink and do a little paw print on the letter. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay, well, um. And then just look up at you. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That'll just be one more question he can ask me about later. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Awkwardly pat the top of his head again. <laughs> the cat purrs enthusiastically. Okay, I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Wait for the ink to dry. Seal it up, and I will return. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, with that, um, we will pass it back over to Sess. Sess, you've spent much of the uh, the afternoon working away at the forge. You've gotten some creations made. What do you do? Well, I got a bit of free time before I got to go home, so uh, I'm going to go over to... Uh... The Church of the Silver Flame and see if Lady Ray's doing another um, soup kitchen, food bank, charity. <laughs> um, Words. Yeah, you as you're heading over there, you see her with um, like a couple bags full of stuff and like a folding table under an arm as she is clanking down the street uh, towards the, the monster part of Greywell. Scowling yeah. as is tradition. <laughs> uh, I march over to her to help her carry the stuff down to maybe lighten the weight on that scowl. Oh, it's you again. Hey there, Lady Ray. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, I. Despite the lack of sleep that I got, I'm doing my my rounds to see if I can offer some solace and nourishment to the people of that town any consolation i slept like a rock after here let me uh let me take some of this off your hands her one organic eye just glares at you deeper i am now immune to the glare (laughs) she a friend (laughs) and she'll just kind of throw some some bags of stuff at you to carry Mm -hmm. (laughs) and she'll Keep moving. Let me go. Yeah, I walk with her silently until we go and set up the tables. Yep. Get our seats. She uh she'll set up shop um in the uh in one of the squares uh of Greywell, as is tradition. Um uh, she is being constantly watched by uh various agents of the uh the Temple of the Dark Six. And but people, you know, begin to gather around as they as they usually do. Um, you know, she gets like the the various stews and breads and stuff ready and water. And um, you do see some of the uh, some goblin children kind of looking at her and 
you know, saying things to them to themselves. You speak goblins, so you know they're kind of being like, "Oh, it's the it's it's the unwanted one." <laughs> um, and kind of Snickers here in that, but uh, and yeah, and they just kind of look at her with like, kind of a, it's like a cross between fear and also like disdain. Disdain, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she seems to be ignoring this as she is getting everything ready. I help her finish things getting ready, and then I'm assuming we take our seats, yep. help ourselves to a bowl of stewie each while we wait for people to come over, I guess. Yep. As I'm, like, using the bread and dipping into my stew, and I make, like, the most, like, clearly, like, mm, this is good food face possible to try <laughs> to get people to come. Yeah, um... As they see you guys eating from it and stuff, eventually the uh, the soldiers of the six will kind of give you a nod, Cess, and uh, they will, you know, kind of slink back behind the crowd. And with that, uh, some some gnolls and some shifters come up um, and basically start getting some of the food. But no goblinoids will will actually approach the table. That's fine. You know, more food us. Anyways, uh, Lady Ray, uh, uh, these sorts of things, uh, I'm gonna have to put a pin on this sort of thing for a while, okay? Um, heading back to Sean tonight. Yeah. Leaving already. Um, I'll be back. It's just for a job. Don't worry. You ain't getting me out of your hair anytime soon. Oh no, I was going to thank the flame that I would have some peace and quiet for however long you're gone. Oh, come on. Come on, Ray. You really think all these people are just going to come by for food? You're going to build up more trust, and then you're going to form a community of people who will come in and ask you to help them and teach them about your religion and so on and so forth, what you came here to do. Mm. Kind of grunts. Yeah, take that compliment. Speaking of the silver flame, I, um, you remember when, when I first came into your church, how I told you about or mentioned something akin to my past dealings with your religion? Yes, I recall. I, um, listen, I'm going back to Sharn, and I'm going to be... I'm probably going to have to run into those assholes again. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not trying to bash on your religion and after meeting you i know there's good folk behind it and i hope that maybe my home is just the one fucked up place where that religion is just used as an excuse to do awful things but i just listen i i just want to apologize that if something happens it, it isn't because i dislike you or because i dislike your religion or because i it's because i dislike the people who hide behind it and use it to hurt people as an excuse, okay? Hmm. I understand your framing of the situation. I will not take it personally. However, you know, I understand that not every follower of the flame is as progressive as I am. As she hands Stu to some some cha uh, some shifter kids <laughs> and some more more aged shifters, gray around the muzzle, <laughs> um, and she goes. But I assure you that the flame is benevolent, and it does seek to light up everyone's lives and drive away the darkness. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but gods, deities, religious symbols, I... That's great, and I know at the end of the day they're probably doing something good, I hope, but... Down in the day-to-day -day life, the day-to-day -day interactions, that's... They can't help with that. And I... And they aren't gonna be able to pass judgment on every... Two bit asshole who thinks just because he's prodden he's trodden around in a silver flame gob that he could 
you know, pick on some lowly shifter kids or commit a crime or two in the name of their day or whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. I just... Listen, did you ever do any work with any sex in Sean? Did you know any priests there? Because I can't imagine anyone who thinks like that being kind to you. Mm. I... I'm not intimately acquainted with the the priesthoods in Sharn. When I've actually never been to Sharn, and during the war I was serving the army in Thrain as a Templar, and so we were at war with Brayland, and so it, it's not like we I, I had a lot of chances to converse with the the Braylish Templar. I just, um, did you ever have to deal with, um, uh, any, God forbid, any form of discrimination? I, um, if you think it's unusual for me, a shifter, to be talking to you, I mean, it's kind of unusual for me to see a, 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 a no offense, a hobgoblin as a silver flame member. I, I've, to be honest, back in China, I've only ever seen mainly human f participants, kind of. I'm sad to admit, it was mainly morbid curiosity that made me get invested in you. Although, now I assure you, it is simply because I genuinely like you. <laughs> she kind of gets real quiet as she uh, looks at the crowd. And you notice her looking at the, the goblin kids. And she goes... The only discrimination I ever feel is... The fact that I am very much alone. The... The flame is... Has always been my life. It's the... It's the only... Community I've ever had. And... <sighs> community means everything to a goblinoid. It's the very core of what they are. Everything derives from it, everything returns back to it. But the only one I ever had was the flame. Community, huh? I can, uh, I can get behind how important that is. It's a big thing in my culture too. Um, I just, I don't know. Meaning you, maybe it's given me some form of hope that things won't be rough when I get back, but, um, listen, if I come back and I look as grumpy as I did day one, it's not because of you, okay? I wouldn't be there. Why would it be because of me? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I... <laughs> Looks up at the silver flame iconography. Uh, she looks up at the iconography of the silver flame, and she sort of grips her uh, right arm a little tighter. Mm -hmm. I uh, just uh, some things that I see. Uh, it's sort of like a gut reaction. So, <sighs> she'll pause for a moment and and look at you. Um... Not glaring for once, her, her one organic eye and the just the, the gem plate of her other eye looking at you, and she just goes, You are from a place where the world is very, very small, but I assure you, it does not matter religion, country, or creed. There will always be those who use it against those they deem undesirable or those that are weaker than them. I'm sure you can understand the core of that concept. So, all I'm saying is, not everyone is like that. And in time, hopefully, that will no longer be the case. Hopefully, huh? Alright. 
I can settle for that. But if you do hear a warning that a cat shift has punched a silver frame, please, I promise you it is with good reason, okay? <laughs> she says packing up another meal for some uh, people who have approached the uh, table. Otherwise, I can always find more work for you and your miscreant friends. We'll be looking forward to when we get back, Ray, okay? She grunts. <laughs> And uh, with that, when things die down and says finishes packing her stuff up, uh, she'll say goodbye to Ray and head back home. Okay. Once you pack up and head home. Uh, Paige, anything you want to do before the rest of the party meets up again? Um, n nothing in particular. So okay. she's just feeling all antsy about going back to Sharn, so. Yeah. yeah, in game time, it's been about a month, a bit over a month since the campaign began and you all left Sharn in the first place, so. Yeah. It's weird to think you've been gone so long. Goodness, yeah. She's probably going to be spending most of the time just trying to brush up on her, her studies, making sure she hasn't really missed anything if they end up going back to the college, so. Okay. Sounds good. All right. With that, the um, everybody will meet up. Uh, Paint and Cess, you see that Jubilee has a has a winged kitty <laughs> uh, about her person at most times. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Wait, wait, uh, are both me and Paint back? Yeah, everybody is back. What the uh, fuck is that? I make a tiny uh, little illusion of a cat toy and start to, like, play with the winged cat. <laughs> yeah, this is, um... A, a, a new friend, I suppose. They are absolutely adorable is what they are. Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> what is uh, their name? The cat nods approvingly at paint. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I don't know. He he didn't have like a a call or, or, or anything. Um, just kind of showed up on the back porch. Um, what is your I name, Sir Mousy Lat? Meow. Meow. Oh, there you have it. Uh, oh, I, mm, I didn't quite get that. Um, hmm. I guess we'll figure out what his name is, um, down the line. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually, I'm trying to find his owner, um, but... Uh, it puts its paw on your hand. Um, but he, he seems... You have been chosen. He seems rather attached. Um, you have been chosen. You are the new owner now, our friend. Is that it's less how of an ownership and more of just a uh, companionship. Oh, is that how this works? Um, have you uh, have you established the alpha? Um, she hmm. did scratch his head. Oh, with the Paige, did you teach her that? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> okay, well, I listen, say that we call them McFluffin. I think we'll get the name done first, and I'll give in my little tutorial after. Cat looks disgusted at that name. No? Mm. <laughs> How Jubilee about... Better give it a names. <laughs> How about Talon? Uh... Do you like Talon? You got the wings? You got the claws? Yes? Jubilee, you better give it a name before it scratches Paint's eyes oh, out. Oh gosh, I don't, I, I don't know what... To, uh, I, I don't know if I should be the one to, to, to name him. I haven't known him for very long. Um, the cat looks at you very expectantly. Oh, it gosh. stares up at you with those big purple eyes. Oh gosh, all the names I can think of are really feminine, and you're a boy cat, and it's the cat what's wrong with giving a boy cat? The cat shrugs. <laughs> well, he, well, gosh, it's just he, he's got such pretty purple eyes. It, I feel like the name should be something like that, like I don't know, like Violet or Amethyst or Grape. This. Grape. <laughs> I like grape. The cat shakes Great. its head. The cat shakes its head very <laughs> exasperatedly at this. Sorry, I don't speak cat, so I can't really help. I think I could, but I'm gonna hold off. I, Ju Juby, it has chosen you. Like Paint said, it's gotta be you. She points at you. Also, All hurry right. up. We gotta finish this scene so I can give you guys shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'll I'll think about a name. How about that? I'll I'll try to come up with something real nice that you'll like. Okay. The cat rolls its eyes and shrugs. All right. Um, I'll, I'll I'll get to work on that. Um. 
in the meantime, uh, DM, is this the place where I would drop off my no. letters? When you guys to leave the house to go to the train that night, you can drop them off at the at House de Civis. Okay. Uh, well, uh, real, uh, so you, you haven't decided on a name yet, then, yeah? Uh, no, I, I'll think about it. I, I want it and to be a good one. you established the pecking order yet. I, I don't, I guess I didn't I think said. about it. Um, listen, I did, I did scratch his head. He seemed to like that. Okay, well, you, you can't just settle for head scratches. It's going to think, it's going to think that you, you, you just a head scratcher. You know, you're a re reward given at a reward controller. All right. I'm going to do this to you. So, because I don't want to accidentally tame your pet, you know? Like, cat glares at Sess. Yeah, see, see, allow me to demonstrate. And, uh, actually, wait. Mm. You know what? Uh, Sess looks at the at the camera. Twitch chat, what do you think would be funnier? Uh, Sylvana and Paige doing something, or Sess and Jubilee doing something? <laughs> I will wait the five minutes. I'm sorry. Jubilee, guys. Sess and Jubilee, go, go, go. Um, it's that classic Twitch delay, I'm sorry. Yeah, guys. It's, it's okay. The cat is just going to be, uh, you know, just glares at Sess, it's accepted, paints kind of a doofus, and <laughs> is right. uh, just kind of glaring at you as it's got its one paw territorially on Jubilee's hand. <laughs> All right. All right, listen, I, I I learned this from Bobby Ferguson down the street when he had trouble taming his uh, pet dog, and also from how I keep uh, Paige calm when she gets mad that there's no dessert. So, uh, all right, first off, you establish dominance, and I walk uh, okay. up to Jubilee, and I'm like half a foot taller than her, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. And I, I, she, like, says approaches and, like, looks down at you and just says, I'm bigger. <laughs> uh... All right, look at me. Yeah, okay. And says takes one hand and places it under your chin and then uses one thumb to rub against your cheek and then uses her other hand on your other face cheek and rubs like that in circles. She's and going very chin. dark pink and just is very awkwardly stiff. As this musky <laughs> cat is, is feeling up your face. Authoritar authoritatively to establish dominance, just making that clear. <laughs> yes, yes, this uh, is not a this is not a cute face cuddle scene. Absolutely not. All right, listen. Uh, your eyes. Silvana, take notes. Listen, when when Paige doesn't get a dessert, you just you know you pat a face like this to calm it down. Pat uh, hey, you too. You might need this in the future. It's a it's a it's a very useful tool for dominance, and maybe definitely not romance. Anyways. Sylvana so blushes good? quite brightly. <laughs> Why are you blushing? It's not that bad. Oh, right. I'm talking to y'all. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure this cat bad. is already pretty tamed. All right, Juby, now you do it to the cat, okay? And says, pulls uh, back as if, like, like, like a second too soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll give it a try, and... Uh, is he still, like, perched yep. on my yep. shoulder? Yep. Okay. Um, I'll sort of take him off. Awkward <laughs> arm, like, hands under the arms, long boy holding. <laughs> he looks up at Reach you. up with my thumbs and, like, rub his little cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> kind of moves his head about and kind of nuzzles against your thumbs. Oh. Well, he doesn't seem to mind that at all. Yeah, now he know. Now he knows you control when the touching comes. All right. That's you that's have all it takes. In this relationship. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know if that actually if that's how it works. The cat I'm looks Jubilee. left to right, like you know, like shifty eyes. <laughs> I'd pull out the cat toy again. <laughs> what if I call him? What if I call him something like something regal? You know, like he's got a very you know, proposition, something, and, you know, purple is the color of royalty, you know, so maybe something like majesty or, you know. King? King or. Dalton? Hmm. 
I was about to say we're Griffin? going full Owl House, having the small yeah. creature go king. Oh, they were king? <laughs> Rats are just poking out of his pelt. <laughs> Wait, uh, Juby, while you think Well, if the you're names... the one who's supposed to be in charge, then he can't be the king. How about Prince instead? <gasps> Prince! What yeah, do you think of that? sparkle as it looks up at you at that, as you're still holding it long, boy. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's long. Oh, pr okay, I like Prince. Do you like Prince? Meow. Oh, all right, we'll call him Prince. Well, at least until we, you know, if someone else comes and claims him, then we'll figure all that out. But and he'll be the cat uh, formerly known as Prince. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> I, I have to thank Lily for that, for typing Purple Rain into chat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Welcome to oh. the team, Prince. Wait, is and Prince I'll... coming back with us? Yeah, I guess maybe if that's all right. If I mean, I'd hate to leave him at the house. Lily's already got so much to do. You know, I don't want to mm. put another thing on her plate. Since this is a contract from the, oh God, we don't have. Well, I mean, we do have a place to stay. In I shot. mean, look I at just... its face. I mean, look how adorable it is. You're saying that we have to leave this behind? No, we're taking Prince with us everywhere. Says because absolutely. Oh, you're going. You cat and all, but. No, it's okay. We have a, we, I guess we could make a spare pet bowl and a litter box out of newspaper scraps back home. Meow. <laughs> certainly have the space, at least. Space? In our apartment? I just don't. Uh, um... We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh yeah. So, uh, uh, assuming we're not spending money at a Golden Dragon in we'll probably be staying in our apartment it's uh is that okay i mean i don't we can find accommodations i don't want I, to I, impose especially now we, that i've got a extra critter we should at least look um simply because if you guys are going to be staying in chan and living in accommodations near us probably will be in the lower levels and um uh I don't want either of you to get mugged. I mean, if we're all uh, together, it, it shouldn't be fine. I would hate, hate for them to have to pay for something while they're there. Yeah, uh, yeah DM. Um, because I'm part of the Diorian family, would I know of a place where I can stay for, like, free that my family owns? Yeah, or you can stay go? for free. You always can find a place to stay for free. Um, that's t that has like if you're in civilization, you can find a place to stay for free. Um, can I like get my friends to come along, or <laughs> do, do they have to pay? Yeah, your friends do not get your background benefit um, for being a house agent. Out of character, y'all are absolutely staying in their fucking Manhattan studio-sized apartment. <laughs> or well, I say like 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 Manhattan studio-sized isn't like it's tiny. Thankfully, you have a cat now for all the rats in your walls. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, oh, yeah, now that the uh, cat thing is taken care of, and then, like, 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 says walks up to a table and just fucking slams a bag of shit on it. There's <laughs> a lot of clattering noise. I got you all. I made you all stuff, okay? Dwarven made. Handcrafted. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put the list in the Discord. <laughs> I'll put the list, put the list into the Discord. You know, this is Seth talking. <laughs> uh, to describe for the chat, um, for Paige, there is a handcrafted dagger, small, uh, easily concealed, or maybe a gata belt on the side. Uh, oh. The uh, handling has some engravings on it in Dorvish. And a small bag of ball bearings, uh, a thousand to be specific. So if you wanted to play a prank or something, or deny a specific square of space does that um for cliff there is a short bow with 20 accompanying arrows uh another dwarvish inscription on the uh, bow carved into the wood uh it's got a very unique counterbalance weight uh that's also sharpened at the end so if he's really in danger he could stab someone with it i guess and a bag of oh. caltrops oh i'm i'm very appreciative of this uh, however, 
And I kind of just know. hold out my hand and a bow of light just appears there. I know you got your magic. <laughs> There's going to be times. Listen, I don't know if we're going to have to deal with it, but we fought some pretty nasty folks. And even before this in the pit, I found people that were really good at looking at magic and ignoring it. And listen, when that happens to us, because it probably will, I don't want me and this Julie isn't to be magic. This is well here, and I hand the bow over to them. Hmm? Does it stay when after you've created it? Yes. I mean, like I know you can use it, but I didn't know you could like hand it to other people. Yeah, I can hand uh, it to other people, and I can like summon spell? it back. It's the to warlock uh, packs the blade. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I mean, that's like. I mean, that's out of character, regardless of the source of magic. Uh, I think anti-magic sources cancel out God or not. Yeah, so, it would still know, be paladins magic. Paladins and wizards yeah. be damned. No, it's not. It, it, it's a little more basically, basically what it does, it takes a weapon that's there and it turns it into a magic weapon. But the weapon is still there and I can just summon it to my hand whenever I want. It's a little more iffy because of the whole like summoning it where you want. I've seen like, I've seen really creative DMs find ways to punish it. And listen, you don't have to use it. That's fine. It is just there as an emergency option. All right. It's like how I gave Sez a crossbow. Do I expect him to use a crossbow? Absolutely not. But you know, if her magic ain't working, if something's in the way, or you know, if her own unique magical weapon that she pulled out of her wazoo disappeared, you know, she, she's got it. Oh, speaking of weapons, and then somehow, like, the bag looks very small, but Sez keeps pulling, it, like, a shaft out, and it keeps coming out, like, those, like, clown bags that, like, a, <laughs> like, like a clown car, and she pulls out a massive glaive with an engraving right at, like, where the uh, shaft meets the blade, and then tosses it over to Jubilee. Oh! Uh, you should be able to fold that if you don't want to use it. I know you're fond of that shield, but, um, and you've got your own range thing going on, but if you, uh... I've seen other people use things like that really well to stop me from going places. So if you ever end up deciding you want to do that, that's an option. Oh, and also, and uh, like, like, like she handed Paige a bag of ball bearings. She handed Cliff a bag of caltrops. Jubilee, here are 10 flasks of oil. Oh, uh, wow. Uh. I did not craft these. I did, however, put the, I did, however, sort of modify the bottle so that the, uh, you could toss the ropes, like there's a little ho hoop where you can just like quickly yeet the bottles. Are you encouraging me to catch things on fire now? Uh, you know, last time was an accident. If it's on purpose, I'd imagine we'd have an easier time of dealing with it. <laughs> All right. I, listen, sis, this is this is really nice of you. I've I've never used a a, a two-handed weapon. Uh, very often, I have some training, but this this will be really nice for situations when I need a little extra um, reach. So, mm -hmm. thank you. It's it's real thoughtful. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Well, they're all one of a kind, so don't lose them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Okay. Of course not. Thank you, Sess. And for myself, Sess pulls out a grappling hook. <laughs> And a grappling curl hook. <laughs> that should be uh, very useful in the city of towers, I assume. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, let's not talk about my criminal history and just say it's useful. All right, cool. Hmm. Man, I wonder what the barbarian's gonna do with a grappling hook and crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian thieves' tools. <laughs> um. All right. Well, that's uh, all I got. Does anybody have anything else, or are we yeah. shoving off? Yeah, anything else before you head to the train station and drop your letters off? Mm. Well? I... LePage? No, I, th I think we're all good to go. Just, you know, the nerves are, are getting to me a little bit, so. But I'm excited to be home. Yeah. Oh, um, Paige, uh, since we're going home, uh, we should probably tell them some stuff. Do you want to do that here or on the train? Uh, probably on, I think on the train might be best. 
Okay, good. Because uh, I am not internally prepared yet, but I probably should. <laughs> um, you, you don't have to say anything if it makes you uncomfortable. Uh, we should, because one, you have all risked your lives with us. It's the least we could, you know, express. Secondly, when we go home, the neighborhood aunties, the neighborhood women, uh, absolutely, they're gossip. They don't, they don't, they won't even gossip. They'll just walk up and say this stuff, and you will hear it. And it's best that you know what they're talking about instead of being confused. Um, okay. All right. Uh, I guess in in time, whenever whenever you're ready. I mean, I'm speaking for paint, but I mean, he and I grew up surrounded by other people's gossip, so whatever it is you have to say, I'm sure it's, I'm sure we've heard it before. <laughs> so, or something similar. I mean, I mean, it's not bad, it's not like rich person drama gossip, like they're nice people, you know, they don't do gossip like, oh... You know, so and so's son is cheating on his girlfriend with so and so's daughter, but um, it's it's it they, they, they will they're a lot more blunt. Like like, how do you think I became so curt? You know, you know, and and up for, and, and straightforward doings because they were, and they will be blunt and straightforward too, and ask us that stuff, and it's gonna be very awkward if you don't know what they're talking about. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyways, uh, post office, right? Uh -huh. Yes, uh, yes. I, I guess we grab our things and head out. Uh, okay. Um, Lily, you got the run of the place? Lily comes scampering um, from the basement. And she uh, she gets up and she bows deeply and she goes, Oh, yes, so everything should be under control. I'll keep these misfits in line and make sure the house is okay upon your return. Alright, uh, says is going to scruffle Lily's hair and say, yeah, that's oh. that's my favorite caretaker. Oh. Be counting on you when we get back. Oh, and, uh, Magnolia! <sighs> yes? Uh, looks over at Paint, looks over at Magnolia. Uh, or not Paint, but, like, 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 the, like, like, out of character, Sess has been looking at Paint a lot more favorably than how she did when she thought of, when she knew Cliff. Uh, -huh. uh, but she looks back at Magnolia thinking of Cliff and goes, by the time we get back, me and your sister want you to develop a better sense of taste, okay? Uh, what? <laughs> you blew okay, it's just well, covering her we'll mouth. See. Oh my god, did you just say that? <laughs> the cat goes, uh, meow. I'm <laughs> a page left some books here for you to read. Uh, if not, you and I can maybe see about it, all right? I believe you have a train to catch around now. <laughs> Love you too, Maggie. All right, let's go. Stay also, safe. Please stay out of my room. Magnolia. I have a surprise for you. That's not ready yet. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You all head off to the train station. You drop your your letters off at um, the House Civis uh, messaging center. And... You have a letter you wish to mail too. What? Oh, um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're both going there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just... Just a little something to send home. That That's all. Yeah, same here. Uh, I jostled the large package of toys uh, with a small <laughs> letter on top. I assume that's for your siblings. Uh, telling my parents what we've been up to recently. Leaving some details out for now. Hmm. Some things I wish to tell them in person. Uh, as well that's... as... Getting my siblings uh, something to distract themselves until we can meet again. That's, that's real nice of you, Paint. And yes, you're, you're right. There are some things that are better told in person, but for me, unfortunately, a, uh, a letter is going to have to do. So. May I pry? Um. Uh, 
I suppose, um, I, this is going to my former employer, so. Oh, I haven't actually seen you with them for quite some time. Yeah, I just wanted to let them know how I'm doing. Just, just that I'm okay. That's, that's all. Well, like I said before, I am sure they are proud that you are expanding your horizons with your work. Mm, I hope so. I know we are eternally grateful for your aid. Thanks. It's just, you spend so long with someone and you can't help but worry about them once you're away so i know it's i know it's silly because it's just something no. i worked for but no i get it entirely yeah well i'm not expecting a response so <laughs> and she'll just kind of shove the letter in the mailbox <laughs> I don't know. Those little princesses that you used to guard were quite the fans of yours. I'm sure they'd ex be excited for any letter you give them. Mm. Let's go continue making a name for yourself. So that when you do meet again in person, you can tell them all the wonderful tales of you as a hero. You even got a little sidekick as a point to like wiggle my little yeah. finger at Prince. Meow. Yeah, he'll uh he'll get a real kick out of that, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Nels is against you. <laughs> Thank you, Prince. Yeah. <laughs> must say it's almost like you're a pussy magnet God. as I continue mailing my letter <laughs> the uh the gnome behind really? the counter <laughs> sneezes outside Please. <laughs> unfortunately that joke goes right over her head she's like this is the only cat I've found <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you for your patronage uh we will be uh, sure to send these along. As <laughs> it kind of pushes up his spectacles looking at paint. <laughs> Just gives a, uh, a smirking smile. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's head on back. We got a we gotta train to catch. Indeed. Okay. As you all uh, head back to the train... You can start. You you once you get there, the uh, the ticket taker indicates that you are all in first class tickets. Um, so this isn't surprising for paint, of course, but <laughs> um, but for the rest of you, you get to be in first class this time for the uh, I guess if you're not counting the quest experience of being on a train, this is the second real time you guys will just be chilling on a train for Sess and uh, Paige. I promise I won't order all the food like we did last time. Oh yeah, we don't have. Are uh, we? Do these tickets cover cover meal? <laughs> First class tickets cover everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> we could do it. We can. Yeah, we could order everything that we liked last time. Circle them out. Oh, and cross all the desserts. Uh, well, I mean, except for you, Paige. You know, because uh, you know, Paige mm -hmm. doesn't like them. Oh, I I would like to try those little rum things that Paige had last time. The back yeah, or the, yeah, the back rooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could kill for a good egg bun right now. <laughs> That's the Are thing is up. Everything tasted so good. <laughs> yeah, we could order it again. It's covered. See, it was totally worth taking that deal already. And like says, like, the greed's triumphantly. This is totally not going to backfire in any way, shape or form. <laughs> All right, 
Um, as you guys start to get onto the train, uh, you notice that, like, as you're stepping on, Sylvana kind of, like, freezes up as she's got her hand extended towards the, uh, like, the railing to pull herself up. And you see her start hyperventilating. Pete is immediately gonna go to her side. And she, uh, she appears to be, like, hyperventilating and sweating profusely, and you notice that she's, like, hyperventilating and crying as she's, like, trying to extend out, because it was only a few days ago that she got on a train and her father was brutally murdered in front of her. <laughs> gonna go ahead and take both of her hands, or take both of her hands into her own and If you'd like to stay at the house, you can. We're not forcing you to come along. Her, uh, her vision becomes a bit less glassy as she looks down at you. And she's trying to get a hold of her breath again. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you have nothing to apologize for. It all seemed so much easier, conceptually. Right. We can see about working on another form of transportation if needed. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not staying. I'm, I'm going to come with you. I, I, I promised you I'd do everything I could to keep you safe. And... I just it it'll just it'll take me a little bit to 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 process everything. Paige, go ahead and hold her hand. It will help comfort her as you guide her on. Try closing your eyes and picturing yourself somewhere else. It might help. And Sylvana, you know, we're here to protect you too. And we're not going anywhere. Kind of looks up and pleadingly at everybody and then lets herself get uh, guided forward. Then we're all in agreement. If you're okay with us. If we ever need to stop, just let us know. Kind of slowly nods. And she will grip her hand a little tighter in her gloves. Go ahead and give her a squeeze and lead her to lead her to the little area to sit down. Okay. And with that, everybody is able to get aboard the train. You get to feel that uh the beginning of that static electrical kind of charge going over your skin as the uh, the elemental plates begin um, igniting, and the whistles start going off, which is thankfully very sound dampened in the first class car, um, and you begin feeling that nice fluid zoom as the train leaves Greywall. And uh, you guys have a day and a half of a uh, train ride before you arrive in Sharn. Um, Sylvana stays kind of quiet for at least like the first night and stuff um, that you take off. She kind of just stays close to to you guys, but she's kind of just very much in her own world. If I can help uh, her at all, I will try using my illusion magic and um, my illusion magic to give the visual appearance of her being somewhere else as well as like presentation to like um, add like the smell of like fresh library books to make it feel like she's in a library and not on a train. She, uh, you will notice that over time she'll begin to relax uh, increment by increment with your efforts. Um, 
but yeah, is there anything that anybody wants to do during the train ride? Aside from eating everything. <laughs> um, I presume that when we leave on the train, it's like nighttime, right? Yeah, when it's like 8 p.m. when you guys leave. Um, I think at the breakfast of the next day, once we've had our night to settle in, Paige, Yulia, my bestie, my my uh, sister from our RP mother, um, <laughs> do you think now is a good time to uh, talk about our elephant in the room? Yeah, yeah. Or it says, uh, make sure the door is closed and puts the do not disturb signal on, assuming there is one. Yeah. It's basically and just like, like a magic arcade lock appears on the door. You know, we got our breakfast out. Okay, um... Sis, do you want to put this gently at first, or should I start out blunt, like, uh... We're gonna talk about our par parents. They uh, they should know, right? I mean, if they come home and people ask questions and they don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I consider everyone here a friend, and they they do talk a lot, so. Yeah. Um, she's going to kind of turn to the group a little bit. This um, is holding your hand rather tightly, too. Well, I mean, I feel like we're getting to know each other a whole lot. It only makes sense if you know a little bit about us, too. It, if that's okay... Only what you feel comfortable disclosing, and if you find it relevant to our current contract. Sharn is a big part of our lives. It's, it's almost all we ever knew, and a lot of our lives, and because of it, revolve around... What happened to our parents? Uh, well, <laughs> obviously by the sound of it, they're, they're not really around anymore. I'm so sorry to hear this. No. <sighs> Alright, it, it's been a long time, and Cess and I have been together for, you know, Looking out for one another. Our... It feels like Sharn is a little bit of bad luck when it comes to the events that happened, but in reality, it's, I mean, it's all we ever knew, and everyone takes really good care of us, but... Are you aware of the glass tower? Sharn? DM, are we? Um, yes. You would be familiar with the event that happened uh, that uh, they can provide further context on. It's kind of a famous event. <laughs> Our, um... So, yes, if... we know about it, but please inform Prince of it. <laughs> um, yeah, Sylvana might know this a little too well, too, since she went to Morgrave, but, um... Way back when, during the, uh, you know, big old famous last war, which probably won't be the last one, some terrorists in Shan caused the a floating tower to fall into the lower sections. Destroyed an entire district, which is now known as the Fallen. Every year of that event, people gather to craft elaborate ice sculptures and throw them into the dagger river to um, mourn those who have been lost. Oh, no. Our father was a uh, an amazing craftsman. He could make beautiful, wonderful things. And um, 
he made one really he he orchestrated he was this was his chance to you know be own his own workshop this was his project he was heading and as they were bringing this massive tower in this homage to the crystal tower um it was destroyed killing our dad who was inside of it I'm so sorry, Paige. I, I, I didn't know. No. All right. No child should suffer the loss of a parent at such a young age. Yeah, me and uh, Paige were like toddlers around that time, and uh, and while we never bothered or were able to memorize the faces of those who did it. Uh, we are very well acquainted with them now. Uh, do you want to tell them who it is, Paige? Because this is a this is the fun and scary part. The the silver flame, right? No, no, no that was a no, mother. That's the other one. That's, that's the, the other parent. parent. That's the other one. <laughs> Hold There's on, wait, too wait, many. Wait. I'm going through the notes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, bestie. It's okay. I, I will. I will explain. It was the um. It was the Ashbringers. That's it. Yep. The uh, you know, the fox lady who saved us in the warehouse. The two we fought in the train. Yeah. Um. Those freaks. So when I tried to distract the one in the bar, and why I rushed down to my death, the one in the train. Now you know, we uh, we lost a parent to one when we were kids, and uh, I um, she starts tapping the table, like, in an infrequent pattern, just, um, they still haven't gotten over it. Yes, I don't think that's something anybody would expect to get over. I put a hand over uh, Cess's, uh, like, tapping hand on the table and go, It's okay to be angry, upset, confused, sad. All these are normal emotions for what happened. <laughs> we can uh, I... save the uh, therapy for after, Doc, because we got uh, one more parent to mow through. Uh, Paige, if you will, since I had to rip off that band-aid. <laughs> There's a particular holiday. I'm I'm not certain if it's if it's worldwide or not. Uh, Fathom's Fall. It's <laughs> when you kind of think of it, it's it's so discriminatory. It's 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 not good. It's the day when those um. Uh, there was a, a martyr for the Silver Flame, a, 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 a Tiramiron or whatever. She was, um... Oh, not Tiramiron, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, a, uh... Some priest. I don't I don't it's, even think his name's Fathom. Is it? It is. It is? It is? It, the holiday okay. is named after him because it's when he was martyred. Right, okay. Fathom. Well, he was a shifter uh, priest of the Silver Flame. Oh, he was a shifter priest? It yep. didn't say that. Yeah, the... okay. it did say it on the wiki. <laughs> Ah, wow. ah, ah, the wiki more correct than the actual rule book. I, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, that adds a whole new layer of fucking yeah, right? to this. So, um, you know, Priest Fathom, uh, I'll give the description here while Paige gets ready to deliver the horrible news. He caught some lycanthropes and Sean, some werf some werewolves, werebears, werferrets, whatever you want. He died exposing them in their cult. The Silver Flame, in honor of that shifter's memory, persecutes uh, lycanthropic people. And that just so happens to include, in most of those racist piece of shit's eyes, shifters, which are a large part of the uh, lower class demographic in Sean. And uh, on such holiday page, uh, we were older in our teens. We, from 
mother told us to stay. I, I don't remember the day she left. I just know that she never came back. And then the uh, local guardsmen came by a few days later and told us they found a body. Uh, we... They could only conclude that during the uh, festivities, some uh, self-righteous Silver Flame members thought it would be good to enact justice. And as such, there are no suspects to put down. Tried. We tried looking. We just couldn't find anything. I tried LD. I tried worse. You know, the one thing about that's good about having friends in high places is we've also got friends in low places. You want me to start asking around? I, uh, I think we appreciate that, Juby. It's just... There's a lot. And, uh... I don't know. You're welcome to dig. You're welcome to try. But after... I, I tried... We tried flipping any stones. Says, I mean, Paige from up top, me from below with LD. I just... You can flip some more if you want. If that's what you want, I I don't know this pain that you feel, and that's the only way I know I can help. Paint looks like they're about to say something. But gets a kind of guilty look as they look down at the um, their silver flame amulet around their neck and just kind of like shuts up after that. Well, thankfully, adventuring's been good. We at least know not every silver flame's a piece of shit. We met Ray, she was nice. In her own way. <laughs> yeah, but when we go back to town, I, um... Grey Will is definitely different. That is... There's still monstrous folks and Sean, just, um, they don't have as much freedom. And, uh, Juby, if uh, anyone threatens you, just, um, stick with us, alright? And, uh, paint they uh they wouldn't take kindly to Ray and they probably wouldn't take kindly to you if they knew what you were. Well anyway, good. if it's one thing I've gained confidence in, it's that we, all of us, can take care of our own, so We'll look out for each other. Um, but just in case, should we be worried? Perhaps I should take another form. Nah, it's been a lot better since our mother's death was the last straw for our community. We actually have a shift on the council of Sean nowadays, um... So a lot of the uh, hate crimes have died down, especially because the community's gotten a lot more active. Oh, whoa, that's a new form. Do you like it? Very red, I like it. Oh. Thank you. Oh, what? <laughs> Here, I'll change back. <laughs> that's... You'll fit in with the upper crust for sure with that look. <laughs> Certainly. But that, here's not to say that that everything is bad and charm. It's just some patches of people that need to to grow from their past. Is there 
without sounding like I'm prying, is there anything else we need to know before we uh, dive into your neck of the woods? I'm not sure about Paige, but I know a few uh, unsavory folk, but it's a long list, so we'll get into it as they show up, I guess. All right. Oh, if you see a um, fancy-looking sheep lady, stay away from her for me. A sheep, a sheep lady. Oh, okay. Sheep shifter, sheep shifter. All right. Just um, uh, poofy white hair. Um, she got a name. Horns. Uh, she only ever called me. She only ever told me to call her Lassie. Just um, stay out of her path, all right? I don't know if we're running into her or not, but just. Do me that kindness, will you? I don't want All to. Right. Do Especially All not right. right now. <laughs> I'll I'll take your word for it. They, um, they are they are a tougher crowd. Uh, keeping your head down, not not making too much eye contact. It usually yeah, helps. She definitely has a very sort of uh if you catch her interest, you're fucked. So uh we'll leave it at that. Um turn number uh, two more things. Uh not now, but um, later down the line, sometime soon, me and Paige would probably want to come back to Sean to uh, give our parents their condolences. That is completely understandable. Who knows? We might get lucky and have another job in Sean that just happens to line up. I don't know. I don't write the script. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, and... Uh, since we're treating each other equally, I wanted to bring something up. Paint, you wanted to not kill people, right? Um, I have never done so before, so I have continued to continue that streak. Wait, you haven't killed anybody yet? No, thankfully. Looks over at Paige, feels like really sad all of a sudden. Oof. Like, oh no, Oof. this could have been avoided. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, um, when we killed that one Ashbringer on the train, the one who knocked me down. That wasn't That an wasn't Ashbringer. an Ashbringer. No. That wasn't? No. Uh, that was a fake. Oh, oh, wait, oh, 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 the one with the, the heel sword? Oh, oh, yeah, so, so only the, the, only the, only the, the whirling spin yeah. of death was the Yeah, the whirling oh. scimitar lady was the Ashbringer. Ah, okay, well, never mind. Um... <laughs> Uh, the other me, one sorry. was the um what was it the hound master yeah okay listen um when i did work for LD, i didn't kill anybody not not i i did have to kill in the pits for self-defense but i didn't like i wasn't told to kill anybody as part of the work um and i also know that sometimes it's better for people to face the proper justice than to um give them that justice yourselves so um and i'm open to interpretation on this i'm just saying if you all wanted to take people down without killing them i'd be open to trying if one is cloaked in darkness and dragging others into darkness then if they die in darkness, they will forever be stuck in darkness. However, if they are simply taught a lesson, there's a greater chance for them discovering the light and changing their ways. Isn't that right? Juby? Oh, sorry, Paige, go ahead. Yeah. Quite frankly, well, it depends on the situation, what... You know, you consider best in the moment. However, uh, the least dangerous enemy is a dead one. So. The cat nods sagely in response. Definitely doesn't feel good or right when it happens. You but needn't it's... hold back on my account, I will say that. I will continue to try and not kill people, but I won't stop you from doing so if you believe it is the right course of action. Uh, 
I just know I want to protect what I have. I'm of a lack mind. You know, um, back in Sean, I, I don't want to toot my horn, but, uh, you know, Paige wasn't the only one who read stories. I uh, also read uh, books with you pictures. Read? <sighs> yes, it's a... Uh, it's a little hard. She pulls out this one copy of uh, the uh, story about the Arachne Charlotte, Charlotte's Web. <laughs> and she like, I always get to like, this is the hottest book I have ever read. And she skips to like a page, literally like two, page 75. And she like stops at every time I read this book, I stop here. But I can read. All right. And uh, I used to read stories of um, adventures who became heroes who did the right thing, yada yada, regardless of how hard the world was around them, yada yada, with great power comes great accountability, yada yada. Um, listen, I, um, I'm not saying I'm gonna spare the life of any monster or beast that's in our way, but, um, and I'm not expecting redemption. If anything, it's more than likely they'll, uh, stay the same asshole after we lock them up. But, um, if more good can be done by sending someone to jail than killing them, then maybe that's worth a shot. Maybe I shouldn't be so gung-ho to get back at the world. But Jibby does make a point. If I ever feel threatened again, I will kill on site. I, I, I do not want to go down again. I'll always trust your judgment, Sis. Uh, and I'll follow your lead. But I'm noting that, Judy. And she went. I, I will do whatever it takes to keep you all safe. I, I mean that. As seriously as I can convey that. Puts their hands together in almost like a whimsical mimicry. Just go, oh, my knight in shining armor. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, just Um, I've grown very fond of all of you, so I will do my utmost to keep you all safe. Even if that means potentially picking fights with some brigands in the back alleys of Sharn. <laughs> Silvana? She's been kind of quiet during this. Um, she will, looking at her hand, her gloves for a moment, and then she'll look up at Sass and go, I will do everything I can to ensure that no one is ever taken away from me ever again. But if I see one of those Ashbringers again, I will not show any mercy. I don't care what you all think of that, but those things, they don't get a second chance. We'll keep it in mind, okay? Oh, our pancakes are here. Fantastic. Uh, oh, yes. How to lock the door? How'd they get in here? <laughs> you, get a, you get a magical notification that pancakes are, in fact, ready when, whenever you feel like releasing the lock. <laughs> I uh, kick the uh, door unlock button. <laughs> Servant staff come in and provide you guys your pancakes and other breakfast parts. Paige is just gonna be kind of picking at her food. I'm assuming Litro has, like, I'm assuming Payne has like a scallion pancake or something that isn't sweet, right? 
Uh, while everyone else is eating their pancakes, uh, I'm like taking like the strawberry and blueberries off the tops of them and just eating those. <laughs> the, the, the character twist! <laughs> or you can have the pocket bacon that they put on the side. The pocket bacon! There you go. I'll take that. I'm also, um, as the mood is lit up a bit by breakfast. Uh, I will go ahead and start to tease Jubilee a bit more uh, as I revert back into the previous form that I just was, which I never actually got to describe, uh, as I just put my head on her shoulder and was like, yes, my knight in shiny armor must mean I am your damsel in distress. And you can see this more um, bronze-skinned, uh, sun-kissed, I guess, skinned uh, woman. Um with amber eyes and long ginger hair with very pouty lips and a very curvy body. Uh, just looking up with long eyelashes, just fluttering as they blink and look up at her. Uh, well, uh, is this a... Th this is new? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a name, right? Uh, is this someone that you've seen before, or is this so something that you just uh, came up with yourself? Oh, this is someone I simply came up with. You can keep calling me Paint if you wish. I don't believe this form has a name. Good. I was starting to get really confused. <laughs> no worries, darling. I guess, now that I am no longer feeling to have to... Hold on to a single form. I'd like to experiment and see what other forms I can come with. I do hope this form is at least to everyone's liking. Very red. I like it. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Mm. That's another mm -hmm. word for red. We are all willing to take a closer uh, inspection if you wish. Crimson uh, is another word. Scarlet. Those are some fancy words, Savannah. You got a pretty head. Yep, vermilion. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. Uh, just, uh, just, yeah, you asked a question, and so I, I, I was just trying to provide some insights. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, but, yes, it is, it is very lovely. Um... I apologize if I've, I've never known a, a changeling so close before, so I, it's still a bit unusual to see the uh, expansive breadth of uh, bodies that you can assume. Uh, head lingers on Jubilee's shoulder for just a bit before leaning forward on the table, like um, on top of my... Uh, a hand as I lean close to um, lean close to her and oh, I'm so sorry I'm forgetting the NPC's name because I'm like brain fogging <laughs> Silvana I knew I know I know it I'm just it brain fogs I'm, I'm horrible with names uh, as I go oh, I'm happy to be of useful experimental purposes Silvana tell me is there a form that you would love to see uh... which uh, draw what he says um uh, n no um I, I i'm good i you, you don't have to put yourself out because of me um i'm i'm just uh i'm just here to to help she's she kind of like recoils back and is putting her hands in front of her like I, I, no it's it's nothing it's nothing <laughs> are you sure not even a form like this as I quickly turn into Paige. She does like a, like a fish out of water, mouth open, close a couple times as her eyes are very wide. Oh, I, I did not give you permission. <laughs> yeah, oh. good point. Don't turn into us without a consent. Oh, my apologies. As I perp purposely or purposely perfectly mimic uh, Paige's voice, um, but I can't do that in real life, so I'm sorry. 
Can't okay. sound like Yulia? Wow. <laughs> My immersion. My immersion. <laughs> Uh, actually, speaking of changelings, um, I think LD told me about this. I didn't believe him until after I saw old Cliffy here, but I mean, old Painty here, but, um, uh, there's apparently an entire criminal organization in Sean made of nothing but shifters. That's a neat fact for y'all. Oh, uh, yes, the, the, the tyrants, I believe is what they call themselves. Um, yep. A group of changelings, yes. It's... I remember this one time uh, LD told me to go, uh, you know, uh, you know, bother one who wasn't, you know, staying to the route, and uh, they turned to another guy, so I beat up the wrong guy. I eventually got to the right guy. I just had to beat up a few guys. Yeah, like Savada so seems happy to have switched subjects from uh, paint turning into <laughs> into page. Um, uh, yeah, yes, I imagine that's quite difficult to. Um, to, to find who you're pursuing if they can... She kind of just gestures to paint. Yeah, imagine an entire group of them just turning in the page. Like, how would you know who to support them? <laughs> I know. Like, God, even I'm worried that I might not be able to tell my sister apart. I feel like we... Would, you would know. Well, we do oh, have I that feel... twin link. Well, I think with close physical contact you probably could tell the difference but it would take a lot of just oh your you mean hands like all over their body <laughs> what <laughs> yeah like you know Sylvana just get your big thunder gauntlet things and just grab each page one by one <laughs> I hate this. it's really I hate easy this. well it's really easy. you can there's one right here you can grab us practice get <laughs> that big your hands are big Come on, fat hands. She, she, she turns, like, very robotically to, like, look at Paige. Her eyes are very wide. <laughs> uh, which page? Oh, I, I figured you'd turn back to paint, because you were paint on my screen. <laughs> oh, sorry. As, they're, as she's looking between uh, the two uh, pages, I quickly just raise up a leg onto the table. Full, showing off full uh, page leg. I I need to go step Your away. Leg. Uh, I need to go step away. Um, I have to uh go uh w w wash my hands. It seems that and she like her gloves just like she just puts one of them into the thing of syrup and she goes, Oh, looks like I've gotten syrup all over my hands. Um, I I will have to go uh clean this up. Um, bye. <laughs> she like frantically pulls away from the table and like darts off. Now I turn back into paint. <laughs> Uh, after a minute or two, says is gonna get up and say, "You know what? You guys talk for a bit. I'm gonna go make sure Sylvana doesn't short circuit herself. I'll be right. I'll, I'll be back." Says gonna walks scoot out. over to the corner and like just put her <laughs> face in a pillow. <laughs> That's where Sylvana was sitting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear a slight <clears throat> sniff. <clears throat> oh. Uh. The cat looks Paint, up at you. <laughs> Paint, you, you, uh, you're uh, awful bold. I mean, I guess you you were kind of like this. Uh, well, I'm Cliff was kind of like this too, but uh, I no longer feel chained. It's wonderful. <laughs> I feel like I could do anything or anyone. Well, um... I say as I look right at Jubilee. She goes right back to her <laughs> plate of pancakes, just <laughs> eyes on her plate. <laughs> the, uh, the, the cat looks up at this and will kind of saunter over to be between uh, Paint and Jubilee. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you've, uh... <clears throat> Got your uh, your confidence. I hope it doesn't unsettle you. I'm just I'm I'm not quite used to it, and I'm not quite used to being spoken Adam. to in such a way. So 
Well, you know what they say. Dive in the deep end. So are you um, swimming or drowning right now? Would you? What would you guess? Mm, hard to say. I only just jumped in. Hmm. You're free to join me, though. That's all right. I just did my hair, and I don't want it to get wet. <laughs> She's gonna go back to eating. <laughs> Teach me. Rolex should not be in here. <laughs> Everybody's on awkward except for Paint. <laughs> um, says you eventually find Silvana, <laughs> just like hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> Sess here? Uh, I think so. Ziv? Are you muted, Sess? Uh, sorry, I was, uh, there was a parental figure in my hallway that I was staring at. <laughs> um, That's stares thing. intently my, my, at parental <laughs> figures. <laughs> yes. He's I, just I standing there, the menacing. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> so, 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 me and, uh, me and Savannah, right? Yeah, you're, you're in the bathroom with her. I assume I pull up as she's, like, done cleaning up her gauntlets. Yeah. Just pulling off her gloves. Hey, Sylvie. Not short-circuiting the whole train, yeah? Um, uh, <laughs> No, I, um... They, they don't really work that way, as... I just was having them in their normal mode as I do day-to-day -day activities. Uh, so, you know, while I got you here, and, you know, says is very clearly positioned between <laughs> the door and Sylvana. Sylvana acknowledges this and looks at the door, looks at you, looks at the door, looks at you. <laughs> I was, um... Listen, teasing aside, do you... Listen, there's a lot of emotions going on in you right now, and you don't have to have a clear answer. I know this stuff gets complicated, but... Do you like my sister, my page, and, uh any sort of way like that like you know like like as you uh, kids call it <laughs> she is older than you <laughs> not when it comes to romance baby uh, she blushes deeply and goes um of, of course i like Paige. i like all of you and she is uh very talented and uh well well read and you know she's an incredibly likable person so you're still budding. Okay, got it, got it. Um, listen, uh, I just, there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of, it, it's not just love, obviously. I know you've got a lot to deal with. And I promise you while you're with us, we'll take care of you as best as we can. I just, um, love's a really scary thing to feel when you're feeling all that other stuff, trust me. Um, and I get the feeling with you and Paige, you wouldn't... Hypothetically, don't don't freak out. Stay calm. Hypothetically, it would be a major relationship. You wouldn't be fooling around, yeah? She's just, like, very wide-eyed. <laughs> Assuming hypothetically, come on. You're, you're a scientist. It's a science word, yeah? Um, uh, hypothetically, um, anyone who would be romantically invested in Paige, your sister, uh, would hopefully give it their all because she is, she's worthy of it all. Don't worry, I won't tell you said any of that. You can tell her that yourself if you ever feel like it. But a few things. Um, the first major one you get into is gonna hurt like hell. So I know you're juggling with a lot, but um, just if you decide to pursue this hypothesis and conduct the experiment, I think I remember reading that scientific method jargon from Page Right. Um, I'll help. I'll watch out for you, but it's not gonna. It's going to hurt. As long as you're aware of that when you're doing it. Okay? Because... The first one always does. <laughs> the first major one always does. It 
Sounds like you're speaking from experience. You know, don't go telling my sister this, but, uh, you know, I've been around. We all have ways of dealing with our... Dealing with our emotions. Um... And thankfully, I got to mess around a bit before I got my first major one. So I know when I got my first major one how special it was, which made it hurt that much more. But uh, listen, and it says tries to lighten up the mood by smiling and stuff. Uh, if you, if you want to mess around a bit before you go with Paige, I mean, you've got one more kitty cat right here. Uh, she winks. But, uh, um, I don't worry. I, I don't mess with reserved goods. I, 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 I think I. Well, I'm going to be focusing on on our missions and, and to helping you all uh, pers pursue what you're trying to pursue. Um, and I, 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 I will do everything I can Listen, to. It was a tease to to protect just... you and and your sister. And she like gets really like awkwardly like theatrical, and she goes. A and all of your entourage? <laughs> Sylvana, breathe, okay? <laughs> so only a tease, only a flirt, all right? And uh, besides, I um, I think what you're after, you'd have, a, you'd, have, you'd have a happier time with it with Paige. Just remember that when you do, go for it. Or if, you know, if not putting anything out there in the wind, it, it, it's going to hurt a lot, okay? Having to bounce another person's feelings with your own inner turmoil. All right? Yeah. Kind of looks looks you in the uh looks you in the eye and goes, "You at least one thing I can say is it's comforting to know that you two know what it's like with your parents. Says approaches Sylvana, hugs her and starts washing her hands <laughs> immediately after their quick hug and then goes to wash her hands and goes <laughs> Damn Sylvana, I wasn't I wasn't I didn't realize you were always trying to go for my blessing, god damn. What what? No, I <laughs> punches her on the sh on the arm. All right. Oh, and um, <laughs> uh, take your time in the bathroom and come out looking confident. That'll definitely put a smile on my sister's face. All right. Um, I'll 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 do my best. And she gets like this very awkward forced smile as <laughs> she uh Naturally. takes takes some water and like runs it through her her hair a bit take your time take a deep breath calm collected forget the teasing forget the embarrassment and just focus on spending time with people you care about that's really the trick okay and she'll nod slowly all right i love you see you back there she walks out of the bathroom as you walk out of the bathroom you see the fact of like jubilee and Paige have like tried to form as much space as possible between themselves and Paige <laughs> with the the with Prince sitting between I was going to say Paige and Jubilee <laughs> I was going to say before uh they finish up I was um, going to do something else okay what was the other thing you wanted to do I was just going to like um as Paige is just having her like face and pillow it's going to tease her a little bit more it would go so, when are you going to ask Gavana out? Huh? Wait. Uh, You're going to uh, ask her out, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't quite mean what you imply by that. I have never seen a more healthy, well-selling ship on the sea, ever. You and Savannah are adorable together, and it is quite obvious that you seemingly have at least crushes on one another. I'm just saying, 
should probably act on those feelings rather than just continuing to scream in a pillow. I mean, I mean only if only if you don't feel pressured by by what Paint is saying. I mean, we're st we're still doing a job, you know. At the, at the end of the day, we are co-workers, so <laughs> there's no need to brush into anything head on. Right. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Um, I, I've never had a, a, crush, so you say. Um, but uh, I I do feel strange sometimes when she sits next to me. My, my, my I think my stomach gets upset, and maybe I'm allergic to something that she wears or perfume. Perhaps it it does smell very nice, but uh. I don't know. No, that is not an allergic reaction. Those are called butterflies in your stomach, and that's what happens when you grow very nervous around someone that you like. Trust me, I've had them plenty of times. Oh, butterflies. Um, well, not literal butterflies. Just no, an expression. No, right, right. Of course, I would. That that would be silly to assume. <laughs> Although with the right magic, I, I'm sure they could be. Oh, goodness, please, no. I haven't heard anything like that. What? How do I... How do I make them go away, then? The... The butterflies. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't really done anything about them myself. However... They don't go away simply by just trying to ignore them. If anything that makes them worse makes them build up more so i would suggest actually trying to get closer to the person that gives you butterflies and perhaps then the butterflies will come see i would as maribel said it is up to you or sorry I was reading the name right off stream. <laughs> You're right. Maribel has told me that before. <laughs> As Jubilee has said, it is up to you. But trust me. Not acting on emotions can be quite restraining. Jubilee noticeably breaks eye contact at that <laughs> statement. Ahem. I, I see. Well, I'll, I'll try. Like I said, I've never done it before, but I just. I don't. I don't know. I've. I've never done it. I, I've never experienced this, so I, I'm not sure how to how to act. Oh, well, I mean, you like spending time with her, right? I, I do. Yes. And that's all there is to it. You just keep doing what you're doing and enjoy the time you spend together. Oh. You don't have to make a big fuss out of it. Oh, is that? Oh goodness, my. My books usually are, seem to go into a little more detail, a lot more uh, touching. <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that, though, right? Well, um, <laughs> probably based not on... from exactly the books, but um, look, you already get along well with her. Simply just. Rather than as a group, maybe go out just the two of you and spend time together that way. Let's see what happens. I can try that. Sure. O okay. We're here to support you. <laughs> Thank you. Both of you. Um, I mean, I, I don't know how she feels or how, how I feel, and but I'm going to take this one step out of time. 
You could take Dumping. as many as many steps as you need. Not everyone can jump into the deep end. But if you are wanting to explore those feelings, there's only one way to do so. Head scratches? <laughs> like the cat perks up. <laughs> I don't know if they're the same meaning to you as they would be to Silvana. Yeah, you're right. But just spend time with her and see where things go. If things bloom, then they bloom. If not, then you still have a wonderful friend by your side. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that into consideration, definitely. Thank you both. All right. Sess, now you come outside and they're actually not like as awkward as they could have been. Um, but yeah, you you see them uh, a little bit of a blushy page and uh, Jubilee, you know, kind of trying to, to casually eat as casually as somebody can when they're obviously very forcibly doing it. <laughs> And uh, Pathos looks like the, you know, happy as a clam. <laughs> uh, cool. Y'all need anything? Uh, no, no, um, I think I'm all done with breakfast myself. Okay, um, uh, Paige, sis, uh, move out a bit. I want I want that, uh, wall seat. Uh, okay? You can sit in the middle, and then when Savannah comes back, she can sit next to you, alright? <laughs> Kind of nods a little too fast. Thanks, thanks. I'm sorry. I just need the window to sleep on, and she like immediately gets in her seat and fucking passes out. Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> And Hobbs, if you wanna if you wanna say hi to the raiders, we won't yes. stop you considering who it is. Yes, thank you, Yuko, for the raid. I'm always so happy to have my little small wolf here. <laughs> and yes, Yuko did blow up my candle before stream, but I relit it. I'm, I'm smarter than the average cabbage this time, only because Yuko sent me a, a message, smugly gloating about it. <laughs> but thank you and welcome everyone. Um, with that, uh. Savannah will eventually come out of the bathroom, um, and she looks like she attempted to freshen up a bit, uh, and she comes and surveys the scene, <laughs> and, uh, sees the only available seat is right next to Paige, and she will turn to look at Cess, and, um... She's asleep. Cess says, says has no look to give back. <laughs> and then we'll turn to uh, look at the seat and we'll come on over and sit down a bit stiffly uh, into it and look at Paige and she's got her big eyes but she um, kind of tries to put on a smile and goes I, I guess the, the the seats have changed up a little bit. Paige is also as stiff as a board, <laughs> sitting up straight, her hands like tightly clasped at her her thighs. Like, uh, he, yep. But um, you're you're more than welcome to sit beside me. Um, that's uh, that's that's great. I'm uh, really happy to be sitting here um, next to you. Um, it makes conversations so much uh, easier, and um, I, I don't have to raise my voice at all, and um, if I wanted to 
whisper. I, I, I could just lean over and and just do it. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, he- gonna whisper in her ear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's, uh, rather, uh, you know, has its advantages, um, and, uh, you're nice and warm, um, I meant, um, the food is still warm, if you- Oh, are, um, um, I, you know, I, maybe it's some of my devices, um, I, I tend to, to run a little hot because of the insulation, but you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, either maybe that's it, but it's always nice to be next to you because you're always so charming. And, um, if I move at all, like if the train jostles, you're, you're very soft and um, you know what? I think I have uh, something else to do in another room, in another place. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, if so do excuse- I. I think. I think I'll, I'll, I'll go too. Huh? I'll, I'll join you. I, I'm. I'm. So- I forgot. Did- I have a thing to do. Y'all have did, fun. Did, did I? Did I say something? What? Oh, no, no, no. loudly in the corner. <laughs> she looks like no. super blush and uh, I, I, I do apologize for my <laughs> brisk departure, um, but y'all carry on. I'll, I'll meet up with you later. I go, but before I leave, I'll just go like, oh, we're just going to make out in the other car and shut the door. Oh my god. <laughs> did, yeah, I, I so just continue snoring. <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't say anything. Uh, 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 awkward, did I? Was was it was it oh. offensive to, to talk about your hair like that? I I I, I don't. No, no, not at all. No, it wasn't offensive. It, it, uh, it was it was nice. I I think you're, I think you are, soft too. Or I mean, your hair is, is, soft looking. It's it's very nice. You you have pretty hair. So do you. Um, I, 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 always so happy when I can um, see it. When I like when you know when when we wake up in the morning. Um, you know because because the, the the living situation with the with the bedroom. You know everybody we're all sharing the beds and it's just it's it's nice that I have so many opportunities that I can. Um, just see how lovely you are. Uh, um, th- thank you. I-, I think in the morning I'm a little more disheveled, but uh, it- it's nice to be able to, uh, you know, make sure you're okay and uh, sleep in the sleep with you. Uh, sleep Yes, and sleeping with you is it, great too. Uh, uh, um, and uh, I, I, I just want to say, Paige, that when I'm with you, I feel safe in a way that. I don't really feel much these days. So, and she kind of actually like looks you in the eyes and she goes, so thank you. Um, Thank you for being there for me. Um, And I, it feels good to not be alone. I mean, you've, you've gone through so much recently. I honestly, I feel like this is the least I can do. But I, I want to be there to protect you too. To, to make sure that you, you do feel safe because you, 
you're also a really important member of this group. Mm -hmm. I... She'll put her she'll put her glove on your on your knee and be like, I I'm very thankful that you're in my life and I know that it's not much um not much for me to say this, but um it's it's reassuring to have someone and your sister who knows and it takes a second to breathe who knows what it's like to to lose your parents like that and I it makes me feel less alone I don't I don't want you to think that by sharing your story that it's any less pain that you're going through right now but I I can relate to your loss and and I know what I really needed that that time was someone to be with me too and Cess did that more than anyone else so I I know I'm not a, a, a family or, or sibling but I want to do my best to, to be there and, and comfort you as well you, you're not alone Silvana Yes, then we will we'll both have to keep a close eye on each other and when we're all together we're we're never alone and I will always I will always be there when you need me, Paige. And I, and I, you, or I'll, I'll try my best. She'll kind of put, go and put her hand on her knee, give it just a little squeeze. Savannah sm you know, smiles and it's a very, like, kind of genuine thing. And, uh, she doesn't seem super awkward right now, like the beginning of this. <laughs> and you know what could ruin this? And says <laughs> snores once more really loudly. Oh, by the host, I forgot oh, your sister has been here the whole time! She normally hear her so, she's so loud sometimes. I, I... Oh, goodness. Um... I... Um... I... It's, uh, I, I think that, um, I need to go, um, make sure that our luggage and equipment has been properly stowed. Um, I, I, I don't want something to have happened, um, while we've been, been having breakfast. Um, you've, you've helped show me that, uh, uh proper, proper vigilance is necessary, and, um, Yes! And she, uh, gets up, but she, like, keeps her her hand on your leg for a bit as she's standing up. Like, it's really, like, where the fingers have to kind of, like, be trailed off as she's standing. And, uh, she kind of rushes down her, uh, her tunic and, uh, coat and, um, gives you a little smile and goes, um, but yes, it was, it was really, it was really wonderful to talk to you, uh, to talk to you, Paige. I hope we have, uh, more opportunities to. It's been several years since I've been back to Sharn, for instance. 
yet. I would love to be able to, to, to show you around when we get back. I, I know a bookstore. Um, I, I would love to take you there as well. Maybe we can each go to some place that we enjoy. date? No, no, I, I mean, uh... uh, if, uh I, I hear that, that they are, that uh, some would call those dates, um, mm. but, you know, it, it's also just uh, sharing what's important um, to somebody who's important to you uh, as right, a... Right, right, Yes, yes. <laughs> so we'll just be together, mutually uh, sharing uh, what we like with each other, you know? That, that's that's it. Um. Yes, yes. I, I would like to, to mutually go to the bookstore with you. And I would love to go anywhere that you take me. Um. Okay. I, uh, I guess I'll go check on that luggage then. Oh, uh, do, do you need help or...? <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, she uh, kind of looks like I didn't think this was an option. <laughs> um, uh, sure. Uh, another set of eyes is um, always, always, always worthwhile. Okay. She's going to kind of turn a second to, to Sus and bring down the little blanket to cover up nuzzle up or nuzzle up against her for a second before she leaves the cart and uh yeah Silvada will take you through a very perfunctory look of the luggage <laughs> and there's like, Nuzza, yep it's uh it's all there still Re uh, the... very reassuring <laughs> oh yes they it's it's all here um yes i I'm I'm glad that um, we've ensured that uh, the that for the rest of the trip, nothing happened while we were asleep. That's, that's good to know. It's a uh, great that you're taking the initiative to to make sure everything's all right. So I'm so sad that the electronic rails, electronic bumps, yeah, never going to be like a a bump that would cause them to like accidentally hug each other. <laughs> Um, this is a slow burn. <laughs> yeah, she goes. Uh, yes, I, 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 I can take the initiative. Um, like, oh, <laughs> I, 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 I meant, you know, as and she puts her like hands on her hips and goes, as any uh, true academic and uh, pursuer of knowledge, I am always ready to trailblaze into the future, into uncharted. Uh, uh, waters. That, that that's wonderful. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'd like to to do the same. Then we will. We can do it together. We'll we'll both pursue knowledge. Uh, together and um. I, I, I guess I can lead the way. So, uh, and she kind of looks at you and then looks at, like, the door and does, like, the most awkward march, like, forward. Because, so, uh, uh, back to, back to everyone else then. Our first, our, our, our first stop on our journey. Y all, all right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, she'll she'll go back to the car. Uh, <laughs> Jubilee and uh, Pate will have seen them awkwardly depart and then awkwardly return. Uh, Pate currently oh, just goodness, talking. Oh perhaps perhaps they didn't need our help after all. See, they only needed a small little push. Uh, at the same time, while they were away. Uh, before being like, oh, yep, yeah, we were right. It was more just like, 
paint showing off their new forms. Like I'd never actually been in the in the body of a woman before, so you have to tell me how well like I'm trying to pull it off. All new to me. Well, I'm, I mean, you take to it just fine. I, I mean, you can make yourself look like anyone. So, I mean, I guess you just think about it, and it, and it happens, right? I don't know how this, how this works for you. It's kind of like stretching, almost. I guess you could say. Only the stretch just kind of stays there. The hips aren't too much, are they? Because I kind of just sway my hips. No, nope, they look. <laughs> Just fine. Oh, good. Uh, Sess did say that this was a form that could blend in well, so I may stick with this while we're in the city. Well, I mean, I guess you could appear however you want. I mean, because no one knows paint, so. No, I change on a wheel if I wish to. Tell me, is there a form that you would prefer? Now remember, I told you any decision you make has to be one of your own. So, oh, what I, know, I would, but it's it's good practice. Well, what I would like is for you to appear, however makes you feel the most comfortable and confident. Hmm. Currently changing on a moment to moment basis. I guess I can understand that since, you know, you haven't been able to change oh, not at for all. Oh, so long. It feels just so natural to just shift into whatever I feel at the moment. I think I, I might uh, advise a, a little bit of caution just because... I don't know how people might react to you changing all the time. I know all too well, trust me. When I was younger, before I had taken the identity that I did, uh, other kids would constantly throw stones at me as a game. Uh, they were the heroes and I was the monster, only I had no choice in... Being the monster. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm where I'm at now. It all turned out well, I suppose. If they're all with you by my side, I feel ever more confident. Well, I'm... I'm glad that you are where you are. I'm just... I'm sorry that you had to go through so much to get here. It is the journey that makes the person. And I think I like who I have become. So That's all in good. as well. It's okay. Uh, and as uh Paint and uh, Sylvana start walking back. Uh, I, Paige uh, and Sylvana, quickly, like, you're Paint. <laughs> start, yeah, uh, Paige and Sylvana. I quickly like wrap my arm around you, pull you in close as I whisper to her, "Is like, I'll pretend we are looking at the window and having a great time." As I quickly come back and pretend that we weren't just gossiping. Well, I, well, I mean, I, I thought we were just talk, talking and having a good time. Oh, well, we were, but now I do kind of want to gossip about how cute they are together. <laughs> At least wait for them to pass by first. <laughs> you see Silvada awkwardly marching forward with Paige behind her as Silvada is blushing. <laughs> Where's the tomato? I wonder what they did in that back car. Uh, it would be unkind to speculate. <laughs> We can always go back there and um, see if we can't try and mimic what they may have done. No, I think if they want to inform us, they they will they will do so. <laughs> Besides, knowing those two, probably not much. It doesn't take much to get uh, 
either one of them as red as a tomato. No, is it hard to get you red? Well. <clears throat> like I said, um, I'm not really all that used to your new bold mannerisms. It'll take me a little to get used to. I'm sure after some time it'll calm down. It's, I guess it's just been boiling up so long. I've not been able to act how I wish. And now it's all just busting out of it. Well, you get the idea. As, yes, I, I suppose I do. I do hope I am not making you uncomfortable, but I am just happy to be able to be myself. Well, I'm I'm happy for you, and I mean, if you end up just being the most ridiculous flirt, I mean, I suppose that's just <laughs> that's just who you are, and you know, I've I've handled that type before, so I don't I don't mind. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll try and direct most of it towards you. <laughs> you don't have to, but if that if that is how you wish to make your jokes, then that is that is fine. Who said anything about joking? Well, um, I'm gonna. Go wake up, Seth. She's probably still by herself. Excuse me. She'll get up and head back to the, the dining car to wake up, Seth. All right. Oh, I thought you? I thought we had our breakfast in our like the same car we were staying in. Ah, uh, I was never specified. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Whatever there car is. you're in, yeah, I'm going right. there. <laughs> I'd like, because I, I was imagining like says was sleeping and like one one boat leaves, another boat does their attractions, and then one boat swaps out, another boat comes <laughs> back, and it's just says is just vibing. This. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, dining car. It says has been asleep in the dining car, and some waiter's been trying to get her out. I don't know. Go 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 for it, Juby. Oh, I don't. We don't have to role play anything. She wanted an excuse to to walk away. <laughs> Some H, that's all I am for this part. <laughs> what am I gonna get, bitch? <laughs> Sorry. That's not Cecil's goal. Cecil's goal is to get paid. She's on the ground. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Gotta get the retirement in order. <laughs> well, you chose the wrong person for retirement, considering she's a broke artificer who spent all her life savings. <laughs> Hey, I'm flirting with everyone, excuse you. <laughs> Just in a l more subtle way than Mr. Fucking Hey, can we sleep together? <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take! Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, with all of that in mind, <laughs> you guys are on the last leg of the trip to Sharn. Um... You pass by uh, the massive refugee camp that is dubbed New Seer, um, predominantly made of refugees from Seer after the morning happened. Uh, and Sylvana kind of looks out the window at them. And goes, yes, uh, I, I, I hope they, I hope that eventually they can find their own homes. It's, it's so sad that it's all gone, but I'm hopeful that there will be a future for them as is there for all of us. Um, so, sorry, I'm sorry that was kind of out of nowhere. Um, it's just, it, it's hard sometimes to, to see just to see my 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 countrymen you know just everything that was lost i i remember my my old home and ah, i just thankfully i'm i'm 
getting a new home. And she kind of does a little forced smile at everybody. It's the beautiful thing about being around still. You can always rebuild. Yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings. And, uh, after, after New Seer, you come across that the same thing that Paige and Cess saw when they left Sharn of the massive, uh, formerly floating castles being disassembled by work crews, um, as many of the weapons of the last war are trying to be broken down, to no longer be needed and hopefully find some kind of civilian use. But tearing down a massive magical castle takes a lot of manpower and a lot of time. So they're still working at it. Um, and at this point, you guys can see the, the massive towers of Sharn appearing in the distance, looming across the entire countryside. Nothing could possibly compare to them. And they only get bigger, much like how Greywall would get bigger, except these just keep going and going and going. Five minutes to arrive at Sharn Station. Five minutes. You hear over the intercom. <laughs> I guess we're almost here. Um. Yes. Uh. It's we'll we'll be there roughly midday, yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah actually, you'll be arriving there at night. Because it's night. You left at night time, it's, a... it's about day and a half. Um, yeah, so if it's a day and a half, it would be like... One day would take us to the next night, and then the remaining half day would take us, like... Okay. Oh, this would be, like, day midday, right? Okay, so yeah, it's midday. You know, if nothing's stopping us, you know, on the way to LD's office, there's, the, uh, there's this one bodega that sells these, like... Uh, there's this one little shop run by a halflin. Uh, he, uh, he sells some amazing ass sandwiches. Oh, oh goodness! I almost forgot what? about that. Yeah, how did you like yours again, Paige? He always he always gave you like the really fluffy bread too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't like too much, but I liked all the vegetables on there and. Almost uh, you... every meat available. Okay, maybe I did ask for a lot. <laughs> yeah, and he always made sure to pack it up right and toast it. And... Mm. Yeah, him and his wife always took good care of us. <laughs> I did. I would. Mean, anyway. Yeah, I would you two love have to. to uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> you'll have to show us the sats. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If there's any downtime, I mean, listen, you're in Shad. You're basically in the capital of the new world. Is that a little too much, Paige? Am I, over, am I overselling? <laughs> you're fine. Uh, anyways, wonderful place. Y'all are going to see great things, all right? I know all the lower... I don't know. I know most of the good spots in the middle and lower districts. And if we go to the upper district, Paige can show you what, you know people normally do when they're rich. I guess you already know that. I don't know. I I know the school cafeteria. <laughs> Have you ever been to Morgan University? Uh, yes, I... Mean, I... Yeah, yeah. Um, n no, no, I mean, I've never been out this far, so... Oh, it's a, it's a... The only it's... thing more depressing looking than that university is the tuition number. Hey, <laughs> uh, it's 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 not that depressing. I, I. Was the two poor graduates from it. Uh, I, or, I guess uh, my sister's still a student. Yep, yep, kind of hard to remember nowadays. The, 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 the two are not related. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I had a lot of positive memories from my time in Morgrave. Might be nice to see it again. See what's changed. Maybe Paige can show us around. Oh, yes. Um, I do have some assignments that I have to turn in. It, it, it was nothing with the 
with a date in mind just when I was able to finish, so... It's got that nice courtyard, yeah? Mm, it does. It's so, very nice. It's very large, so if, you know, we happen to split up in the groups, you know, pick up a more ground to look around, I mean, there's no shame in that. I don't think any of us could get lost in the courtyard anyhow. <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Regardless, I'd, I'd like to see... It. There, There's lots of places we'd like to show you, so... I can't wait to, to see all the places that uh, you want to... Or that you, you two want to show us. Uh, perhaps, Actually. um... Perhaps, Sess, you can actually show... Uh, myself and Jubilee around some of your favorite spots while Paige and Silvana go ahead and tour the campus for our uh, memory sake. I know a few good spots for, you know, two people to hang out. Yeah, don't worry. Um, I know one thing I definitely want to show you too. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. definitely the most fun you could have with uh, public transit and Sean. How I feel about that uh that chuckle you just did but uh I said I said I would trust you on this journey I guess that includes uh our downtime as well so well uh, it certainly sounds like there's uh quite an adventure in store meow <laughs> indeed prince <laughs> All right. I go uh, ahead and wait. give uh, Prince a head scritch. You uh, you notice when you head scritch Prince, it feels very uncomfortable for you. Um, it's kind of like the discomfort you felt when you were uh, when you had heal about your person. It is very uncomfortable to physically contact with uh, with Prince. Huh. The cat kind of just gives you level eyes. Jubilee just absentmindedly started to stroke Prince's back. <laughs> he arches his back with your strokes. <laughs> hers, hers pleasedly. <laughs> but, uh, and then in between some of his stretches, he just kind of looks at uh, paint. There's a bit of a kitty smile. <laughs> Not really knowing how to take that, just accept <laughs> that it's a weird cat. <laughs> um, and with that, the train finally pulls into the station. The doors open and you guys are assailed with the almost cacophonous noise of entering Sharn once more, especially compared to Greywall, which seems downright, you know, pastoral by comparison, <laughs> as the City of Towers stretches indefinitely into the sky. You get off the station, and there, there, for each of the private cars, you know, there's only about, you know, half a dozen different people who get out of those, but there are, you know, a hundred or so that get off the other cars, but you see there's trains pulling in, every few minutes and crowds coming off of them and Sess and Paige, you recognize that same ticket taker, except he's got a mop and he's and he's prestigitating the, the ground of the uh of the air like the standing areas near the trains in, in a janitor outfit. <laughs> oh, he got the money. Oh! oh She kinda looks at, at Sess for a second and looks over at Paige or paint, like... Oh? Um... Looks like whatever you did worked. Thank you. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah, that was, uh, that, that, that was not paint. That was somebody else. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That just gives a slight smile. So, I guess the first question then is, where to next? Yeah, Sess, Paige, 
Y'all leave the, the train. Way. Does the train stop in the middle or lower? Yeah, distance? it stops in the middle. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't um, have to worry about forgetting about three nights being left on the train. So. <laughs> First things first, we should probably get y'all some Featherfall tokens. Good idea. Yeah, uh, you, you saw how, like, outside Sean was kind of, like, stabbed on top of each other? Um, these tokens kind of make it so that if you fall between the bridges, you won't die, but... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There should uh -huh. be a kiosk at the station. I yeah, think. there is a kiosk. Uh, where there is some uh, some of the the watch is set up shop there, and a uh, guardsman looks looks at you guys approach and goes, "Yeah, what do you want?" Hey, we got a couple new shinies with us. All right, we just need a couple of fucking feather tokens. Okay. Uh, we got fucking Taurus. All right, all right. You know, make sure none of you, none of you kids fall off, you know, and if you do, make sure this is nearby, otherwise you're gonna go splat, ain't nobody coming for you, I certainly know I won't, I'm not a fucking janitor. I don't know, listen, Does that only sort gonna... of thing happen often? People falling off the bridges? Yeah, yeah, but you know, some bridges got enchantments, sometimes there's a, you know, a local wizard, a guy girl around who catches you, you know, but then you owe them a life service or whatever, you know, just, just that take seems the fucking... Like... That seems like a severe oversight in, in the city infrastructure. That's a that's a big theme here in this town. It's a you know, we welcome to Sean. Whatever happens, happens. And uh try to try to keep your feet on the ground. And uh if not, well you're taking your life into your own fucking hands. And he he takes uh takes out some tokens to give to you guys and goes, These are all synced up to you if you try to fucking leave my city without returning them they will be monitored you will be fined if you ever decide to show your stupid face back up here i'll throw your, your ass personally in jail uh noted thank you he's just over exaggerating don't worry and i'll make sure they don't lose them all right yeah you know you keep a close eye on them you know i hear that things are getting kind of intense there you know just whatever you do just you know don't don't piss off anybody, and certainly don't run run afoul of that LD guy. Yes, noted. It says this is the most like cat smug face possible. <laughs> <laughs> Looks around for a pocket to put the coin in, realizing I have a new one right on my chest. Boop. Jesus Christ! You pin, it to your, you, pin it, you pin it to your jacket. It's real simple. She pins it to her yeah. jacket. All right, come on, come on. Let's get going. I know a shortcut. Come on. Come on. And uh, yeah. with that, I think we are probably good to end for the night. Wait, DM, yeah. could I do one thing before we end for the night? Okay, you could do your one thing. Okay, as we get to like a bridge in the middle district, says stops the group and looks down. Ah, yeah, there's my shortcut. Uh, you can jump from this bridge to that one. Check it out. She fucking jumps. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Sis! <laughs> Just don't scare them like that, goodness. Says fucking slams down. Oh, how I've missed this place. <laughs> oh. You it's... you hear some random people, because uh, it's just the press of humanity slash humanoid anity here is very, very claustrophobic. And as Sess leaps off, you hear some people go, hey, hey. Hey, I'm landing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking in. <laughs> Hey, make some room, make some room. We got some shortcuts. We got some turnstile jumpers here. Don't get in the way. The vitality rate in this city must be very high. Oh my god, I think I'll take the stairs, thank you. I'll it's... wait down here for you guys. <laughs> Jump down it's... the fun way, though. It's really not that far. Paige will kind of, like, put her legs over the edge, like... <laughs> but you're welcome to go however you'd like. I'll follow you, Paige. Thank you. And she's gonna jump, too. Page! Oh, oh, oh. I'll oh. I'd, I'd like to point out that, like, if you guys are looking for sis, they're probably like two feet to the left of where they jumped. Yeah. Savada looks at Jubilee and goes, uh, uh, "Is is this happening? Are we doing this?" Oh my god! Um, 
This feels like I'm going against every natural urge of survival in my body, but I guess when in Sharn, and she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna jump off too. And Savannah will jump right next to her. <laughs> and you guys land, like, 50 feet below you. Oh my god, can we please take the stairs? No more <laughs> shortcuts. <laughs> Come on, Faye. Yeah, as you land, oh, you know, people get pushed out of the side, and they're like, hey! Hey, listen, get used to it. Everyone hops. It's like <laughs> hop on the turnstile, all right? It's oh, so fun. I think I might do it again. I messy step to the other bridge and then jump off. And oh, you need to be careful. You don't all of this work. <laughs> Wait, you got to know which one you're going on. If it's too far of a leap, it ain't going to work. <laughs> all right. I think with that, we can end. <laughs> Thank welcome you, to Midgar. <laughs> yeah, welcome to fucking Shard. Jesus Christ. You're now in fucking fantasy New York. Let's <laughs> go. It's Sean, it's Sean, it's a hell of a town. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you everybody for, for hanging out tonight. I hope you had fun. We had lots of RP and romance and trauma. It's, it's like the we also had paint just shooting every shot you gotta respect you gotta respect them um by the end of this campaign there will be a paint boat i have <laughs> no idea which <laughs> um but yes i hope you all had fun tonight and enjoyed the game uh we will be back here next week for uh for more of this as they actually are now in sharn and can go about their adventures and meet up with the mysterious ld I wonder what LD stands for. Maybe we'll find out next time. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you to these wonderful players for being such absolutely amazing goofballs. And I'm so thankful that I get to DM for you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Always, always. <laughs> um, as Vaughn just demonstrated, if you do exclamation point players, you can go to the, all of the Twitch pages of all of these wonderful people. And be sure to go follow them, Give uh, go check out their streams. They're all amazing people. They're amazing streamers. They're all wonderful, and you should go check them out. I will be back here on Wednesday for Slime Rancher 2, baby! We're going to get real slimy, real squish hours. Um, and so it's 6.30 p.m. Eastern, and then I'm going to do something I have yet to decide on Friday. And then Saturday is my birthday, where uh, I will likely not be streaming, but it will be my birthday, so... Your girl's getting milfier by the day. Um, let's go, boys. Pull let's up. go. We are going to raid uh, Errol. He, he's playing fucking Getting Over It. And I think someone at the beginning of the stream redeemed a Guide the Raid. What? Uh, let me let me check. I didn't think so. It would be a very odd thing for them to redeem at the start of the stream. No, there's not one. <laughs> Oh, I could have sworn I saw it. I'm sorry. No, there was a gremlin noises for Tyler, but uh, I will do it's that really quick. Eye out, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna raid Errol. He's doing getting over it. He's everybody's favorite little thieving magpie. Let's go send him lots of love. Errol, then. Um, if you are a follower, please copy down the call to hugs. If you are a sub, please copy down the... Or maybe it's knights. <laughs> I forgot my own command. Uh, please copy down the knights message. And let's go send Errol lots of love. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. And the sweetest of dreams. Thank you guys for hanging out. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye.